Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Okay, uh, let's continue, shall we? Uh, I've done a little tiny bit of tweaking to the uh, beam receivership. I'm calling it the hotbox. Uh, got rid of some of the engines, and after reading some of the... Re after rereading some of the uh, spaceship Informatron stuff, uh, somewhere in here it says that the uh, integrity is a factor. Um, let's see. Ship speed is based on the thrust and uh, thrust of the engines versus the ship's weight, approximated by integrity stress. Uh, so we had uh, containers going all the way to almost 900 container stress here. And the ship is actually significantly bigger than I would have uh, planned in the first place. Taser is receiving a coronal mass ejection. I'm pretty sure... Whoops. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got a... Umbrella doing its job here. How's our power looking? We're not even really bleeding any accumulator charge. It's very slow. Uh... Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a problem here. We should have power management on the drilling. Yep, as well. That should be fine. I actually kind of forgot uh, about this planet. Our first Holmanite core fragment planet. Much smaller than Via Terra. Um, but still doing its job. So, how is our power looking right now? It's already approaching the peak, and we haven't even got down to late. I think the accumulator charge might get as low as 50% before we hit the middle. Um, but... I don't think we're in any danger this time. Alright, so back to the ship. Uh, we've got... Uh, played around with it just for a few minutes after the stream yesterday. Um, I'm really blown away at how... Just how much heat is actually sto uh, stored here. Like, going on a trip around the solar system, um, we barely lose, like, I don't know, 50 or 100 degrees from the beam receiver. Um, it also gets the nuclear plant all the way up to a thousand degrees, so that's a bit more, uh, heat stored as well. Um, but this is just here as a backup. The, uh, I'm, if this, uh, this thing supposedly goes all the way to 10,000 degrees, so it's going to be far more than enough. Um, for some interstellar trips. We're going to run out of ion way before we have to worry about running out of heat. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, this was when we had, uh, what was it, seven ion engines? Uh, and I tried setting it to max speed for, for science. But I was actually shocked at how quickly we were running out of Ion Stream on that relatively short trip. I guess more engines, more fuel, of course. But, uh, well, on the other hand, okay, I, I have to not think about this in terms of actual Delta V or anything like that. Um, it's more like, you know, soft science, video game pushing through space soup kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we actually consumed like, I think 9% of all of the ion stream here, just going to the sun and back before I removed the extra engines and chests. 
been better honestly, but here to distract myself with some hot glaive action. Some hot glaive action. How is Rampart doing, I wonder? Uh, it looks like most of the planet has been glaived already. We've still got quite a lot of biters up here, but not for too much longer. We've still got two energy glaives going. Um, I've only got, uh, just the one, um, energy beam emitter that's not using nearly as much power charging up the, uh, the hotbox. Um, I think I've done the groundwork to get our, uh, outposter. Oh, that's right. I wanted to swap this for a radar construction pylon. Um, give us lots of range. Let's see. Construction area 110 by 110. And this is 256 by 256. That is a great start. Um, and considering the engines consume 666 kilowatts idle, I don't think 100 kilowatts is that much of a big deal to add to this. Kind of like using a magnifier in the sun on ants a little bit. Rorosaur, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so... Do we have... We've got lots of scaffolding. Lots of solar. Um, we've got a bunch of substations, of course. Um, and we should have some bots in here as well. Actually, yeah. Oh, we've only got 16 construction bots. Do we have some in storage? We should do. They're not here. Where are they? I'm pretty sure... Well, I could be wrong. Um, I thought we had construction bots. Oh. Wait, what? How can there be zero in here? There should be... How many are we requesting? 150, but we're basing it on available logistic bots. But I want to have some in storage as well. How am I going to do that? Um, I actually don't know. Yeah, this is the only... Tr hmm. Actually, it's not because I changed it to read from this instead of the, uh... Logistic Network. How should I... Okay, I think I'm going to add something here. And... It's going to be a filter inserter. I'll put a chest here. Inserter here. What is this reading from? Read robots. To oh, 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 oh. Uh, set filters black. Okay, this should now be a red wire, so that we don't get a signal from all of this stuff. Okay, so we're not. Yeah, we shouldn't have been picking up uh, robots from that chest earlier. We picked them all up. We might not need this. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some construction bots, and those are gonna get put into storage chests and such. Okay, cool. And as long as we've got any construction bots in here, we can get the rest of them 
where we need them. Um, I think I'll actually pick up the rest of these as well. There should be some bots here. That's fine. Okay, I think we're ready to send this thing back to Calidus Orbit. And we'll continue building out the uh, the solar network there. Um, but I also want to grab a radar construction pylon. Where's my spider? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Um, remote is already set up. I need to update my requests to stop asking for spaceship stuff for now. Um, all of it. Don't need it right now. Be gone. Thank you. Okay. So I need to grab, what was it, radar construction pylons? And I'll carry a, st I think I'll carry a stack of these from now on. I actually have to add it to the auto trash mod, otherwise it will immediately remove it. And 50, and I think I'll update the player preset with that. Uh, only got 24 for now, but that's probably fine. Let's go... I think I want to put a radar construction pylon here instead of the pylon substation. Uh, Fiddle Goat, good morning. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this thing properly filled up? Looks good. And how hot are we? 1840 already. Uh, I don't think I actually need more than I've already got energy being pumped into this. Um, I would prefer to wait till it hits 10k though before we go on an interstellar voyage to rescue a couple of our ships. One, two, three, four. Oh no. So unsurprisingly, this problem is systemic. Um, Orchard is just taking too much nuclear fuel away. Uh, when it's delivered, I guess. Uh, the easiest way we can solve that is to swap out the nuclear heat for beamed energy. Um, we just upgrade this. Fantastic. And now we have to deal with the beeping at all times. Um, it's fine. Uh, is this not approaching full? Why don't we have any logistic bots here? Probably for the same reason that the construction bots were all in the wrong place. Um, let's go grab some. And I'm sure they'll sort themselves out now. A bunch of them should be going back to... Wait, what? Oh, because we've got more logistic bots than we're... Re we've got way more logistic bots than we're requesting. But I wanted some of them to... Oh. Right. So logistic bots go in the... Active provider chest. Logistic bots also get directly put in here. I would have thought I would have... This should probably be a green chest. Oh, 
I wanted any construction bots that get chucked into the robo network to automatically end up back here. But it should probably be a green. Oh, it's not a green chest because we want it to give those bots to the ships. Um, but I can't set two filters on this. I guess I could add another chest, although it's in a little bit of an awkward position to do that. Um, this is blacklist logistic bots. So logistic bots always get put in this storage chest. And then if we need them in the robo network, we put them in the robo network. And we want to have a certain amount of logistic bots in storage. Um, yeah, I think we should actually remove this wire. So we're only looking at, as far as LTN is concerned, we're only looking at the bots that are in storage. Um, which should include this chest, actually. Okay. Hope we got that sorted out. Um, but yeah, I wanted to add, I'll just make sure there's room, yep, I want to add, um, pylon, radar construction pylons here. Construction pylon is just a worse radar construction pylon, except for the power consumption, so I don't think I'll bother with those, probably. Um, and I'll set that to... 47 so that we don't go over one stack size. Uh, put the lights back here. And that should be fine. Okay, so we've got bots. Uh, we've got loads of robopods. We've got a bunch of construction pylons. And we've got all the building materials. I think we're ready to go to Calidus Orbit now. And I should be able to build that stuff out by remote control. Um, we do have the nuclear fuel, lots of nuclear fuel. Um, can I reach this? I don't think so. Uh, we do have lots of nuclear fuel if, in case we do run out of heat for our energy beam receiver. But I don't think we are going to run out of heat. Uh, so let's go rescue a couple of those ships. And... I'm just thinking about a short-term solution as well for... Keep it, making it so that those spaceships don't run out of fuel. I'm surprised how little uranium fuel cells we've got here. Oh, it's probably because it's looking at the robot network for the uranium fuel cells. Um, where are we requesting those? Over here? 500? Don't think so. How about... Uh, two chests full. So that should... Uh, deliver some uranium fuel cells quite soon. They're still being delivered by space uh, by cargo rocket. I won't bother updating that just yet. I don't have spaceships already starting trains in space now. Trains in space are great. I wish I'd realized um, space rail. I wish I'd realized it just took 50 energy sites. Uh, to get space rail, I would have gone straight for this. Okay, um, I guess I could put another solar panel up here as well. And thank you. I think I'll wait for one delivery of uranium fuel cells. It should be this one. It's actually picking it up from the mall. 
and then we'll go rescue some ships. Uh, meanwhile, let's have a look at our bottlenecks. Explosives have actually completely saturated. Uh, it might just be because we're only allowing one train to come here at a time, but if that's our bottleneck, that's already looking pretty good. Um, we can fit 7.2 train loads of stuff in 24 chests, so I'm going to set the train limit here to 7. How much power do you use in space? Uh, it's a little hard to gauge because a, with our build as it is, uh, a lot of the time a lot of this stuff is idle, but eventually we want to ramp it all up. But currently we're using 15 gigawatts, and we've got 70... was it 75 or 72? Uh, we've got 75.2, mostly from uh, this, which is all tier 2 flat solar panels. Um, yeah, I set up a system. It was a bit of a pain um, sending spiders back and forth to build the solar panels. Uh, so I set up a system to receive uh, scaffolding, solar power, and everything else we need to build this out automatically. And we just keep extending the robo-network uh, with the blueprint. And tidy up some of these as we go. Uh, okay, we're actually at 2100 heat already. Fantastic. What should we do on Nalvis in the meantime? Or maybe we should design some... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, we're definitely not having any trouble with green circuits anymore. That's good. Uh, maybe we should design some science. I'll do that once I'm underway with the ship, so I don't have to remember that. Okay, so explosives are completely saturated. That's excellent news, honestly. Um, that should mean that Holmanite is coming through at full speed. I'm seeing... I'm seeing the belts on either side completely saturated already. Um, just about. And we're just waiting on getting some more cannon shells down here. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing our four fragments for Holmanite have increased lately. Uh, 1.5 hours ago there was a significant increase, and it's been very consistent since then. That's looking pretty good. And it might even get a little bit faster as... Um, uh, as these delivery cannon capsules pile up. We've got tons of explosives here, we might even... That's interesting. We're not short on... We actually aren't giving it Iridite fast enough. With only one cannon. I didn't think it would come to that, but here we are. Okay, um... That was Via Terra, wasn't it? I'll just double check. Yeah, Via Terra. Uh, the same is probably going to apply for Penium. Except... Well, yeah, it is. Um, so we're missing Iridium Plate here. We're not missing it, we're just not getting it fast enough. Uh, so... Penium? I don't know where I'm going to put another cannon for Penium. I don't know if we need three, sorry, four explosives or not. I could swap one of those, but I would rather just add another one um, for Iridium Ingots. Uh, 
Wait. Uh, let's make sure... Yeah, there's no Iridium ingots here. I'm pretty sure the machines can keep up. Let's double check that. It is slightly positive, slightly net positive on Iridium plate. Uh, okay, cool. So, back to here. We're going to need... Uh, let's put it here, I guess. Um, one of these, one of these, and custom one of these. And I don't know where I'm going to squeeze this in over here. Uh, I'd put it up here, I guess. I strongly suspect I don't need the four... Uh, four explosive cannons. But I could be wrong. I could just put it all the way over here. It'll just be a bit awkward bringing the wire over. But we could do it. So this will go here. And we're requesting 40 uh, ingots. That one should already be set up. Fantastic. Um, and we need this wire to find its way over to this inserter and then same setting on this chest fantastic not tacky at all uh, the rails are very expensive in the beginning yeah a little bit how much power do you... Oh, sorry, I answered that. How has the... How's the progression coming along? Um, pretty good. We're playing around with energy beams. I'm going to replace... Um, I'm going to replace the need for nuclear power in our outposts. And that way, until we're running on antimatter, um, I'm not going to have any logistic headaches supplying the spaceships with nuclear fuel, but also providing um, nuclear fuel to the outposts. I could do better um, than this current design whereby we're using a buffer chest for the nuclear fuel. I think this should be a requester chest, but then the only problem is I can't use like the vast majority of this uh, chest space for other things. Um, and chest space is very much at a premium. Hey, that's interesting. This thing hasn't refreshed the integrity checklist. Uh, it doesn't know the maximum is 900. Fascinating. Okay. Um, so we're just about ready. We're ready to go on a little trip to rescue some of our ships. Um, I would love to take the outposter to start building some uh, energy beaming in the other solar systems, but I want to finish this one first, uh, and I don't particularly feel like making another outposter for that. Well, maybe I should. In any case, let's find our stuck spaceships. Orchard 1 is the closest, I think. Okay, so our target is Orchard 1. Fantastic. And for Orchard 1 itself... Oh, there's a lot of 1s. Um, we need to set... It doesn't really matter if we do it now or later, but... Uh, we need to set the target to the hotbox, otherwise we'll never be able to board it. 
because it's moving away at a speed of two centimeters per year. Okay. Let's see how fast this thing goes now. I think it got to like 106 with our automatic speed management, three engines, fewer lasers. Um, so there's not as much demand for power, but there should be just enough laser turret here. Um, there should be enough laser turret to make sure we don't take damage. I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of all of my uh, spaceship walls that I was carrying. If we're going to be... If, if we're going to be going through here, um, flying through space with... Experimenting with how fast we can go safely. But I do have robots with repair packs. Um, I suspect... The walls can take maybe one hit, so the bots should repair them immediately. Um, but the rate we're going, I don't think, yeah, we are losing accumulator charge already, so I don't, th I don't think we're going to get fast enough to be in danger. Uh, currently we're at 90, so this is a faster ship than the others we've made consistently, it would appear. Fantastic. And how's our heat consumption? It's like 0.2 per second, or probably more like 0.4 per second in game time. Um, that should not be a problem at all. 10 minutes to current... 10 minutes at current speed. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, what's next? What else was I doing? I should probably send the scaffolding spiders back to base. And... Oh, that's right. The outposter has reached its destination. Fantastic. Where are we anchoring this time? Um, maybe here? Might be a good idea. So what's our build range? Wow. Okay. Uh, long live radar construction pylons. That's fantastic. Um, I would definitely like to get these logistic bots out of here. I should have done that before we left. I'm very tempted to just... Yeah, I might do it. It Takeoff requires only... Let's see. 27 gigajoules of fuel. Um, and we've got ion. Well... We've also got liquid rocket fuel, but more to the point, it's probably easier to get rid of these roboports. Might need to make a storage chest. And we can actually just move the ship around to build this stuff. Yeah, we do need a storage chest. Let's put that here for now, because I maybe want to put more construction bots in. Oh, we're gonna bottleneck on... We're gonna bottleneck on a single roboport recharging all these guys, though. Hmm. Let's make sure we take advantage of the solar power that we've got here. They're actually not even reaching their destination with one radar construction pylon. Are they only able to do that with, like, endgame bot speed? I wonder. Oh boy. Uh, this could get ugly.
I think I'll put down another Robopod here. While we build. Okay, I might just have to remove all of the ghosts. Um, until we're ready. And maybe the tile ghosts as well, although they're not as far away. Okay, we've got our solar... We don't have our solar power yet, actually. Let's remove the tile ghosts. And we'll put them back when the bots have settled down. It's incredible how this base grows, but UPS stays steady. Um, some of what we've been doing lately has been removing old builds and rebuilding them with fewer machines, so that, that at least would help a little bit. Okay, the bots seem to have settled down. Um, I want to get all of the logistic bots out of here. And I want to request construction bots. And I want as many construction bots as possible. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we will just... Throw in some Roboports again, unfortunately. Actually, how far is that going to reach? We're going to need to add a Roboport here as well. Let's just do it here for the moment, I guess. Well, so much for the radar pylon being that good. It's just not that effective if the bots can't get there fast enough to build something before they turn around. I think the bots consume energy at the same speed, no matter how high their movement speed is. I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, looks like we're doing just fine. I should have checked my repair packs. So we've got 100, and this is at like 20%. Uh... Oh, durability 68. Okay, cool. If we can remember that, we can check in later and make sure that we haven't had to use any repair packs. What's our ETA? Seven minutes? We're all the way down to 68 speed. Yeah, that's not that great. That's about the same as the space truck. Uh, tends to go most of the time. So much for... So much for this speedy build. Although all of this took up way more space than I was expecting it to, so... Um, the size of the ship is definitely dragging us down. Um, I don't know how space efficient you can get for massive energy production with later technology. Um, judging by... where was it? There was a giant heat exchanger, what was it called? Um, what was that big ol' heat... oh, I haven't researched it yet, I think. Heat. High temperature heat exchanger. Um, it looks rather large. Uh, 
I thought I had a ghost of it somewhere that I was able to cheat out with the navigation satellite or something, but maybe I was dreaming. Okay, back to Nervous, perhaps? What was I looking at? Oh, that's right, I wanted to see if it looks like we are keeping up with the Iridium now. So that means all four of these machines can go full speed consistently. Which saturated these belts faster than expected. Nice. So we're finally uh, drilling at full speed here. Uh, we've got 69 per second, 69 per second. We can... I was going to say we can probably do better, but it doesn't look like we have to, unless we add more cannons. And if we add more cannons, we probably have to add more of this. Scaling this up even more would be a bit of a headache. It would probably be better to build this somewhere else all over again, although then the ratio, because of the diminishing returns from the drills, the ratios would be off as well. Um... But now that we've got all of this flowing as fast as it's supposed to, uh, hopefully uh, that should be our Holmanite issues sorted out, I think? Question mark? It's still going to the old Holmanite build. I should maybe change that. Um, do we have better prods in the new build? No, but I would like to see stuff delivered here as a priority anyway. Well, it's actually more that we need to deliver it to... That's interesting. Chromium powder. Hold on. This is ingots. Oh, did I not actually... Yeah, no, I did. Here we go. Holmium powder goes here. Holmium comes in here and it comes out as Holmium powder. Holmium powder is... stuck somehow? What's going on? When did this happen? Each divided by negative 48. Output each. Chests and inserters are all connected. Yeah, Reaper? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Um, why are our... Oh, because there's no Holmium powder coming down this way. There's no beads. There's no Vulcanite blocks. Oh. Uh, that's a problem. I think... No, this is looking a bit bare. Wait, why is it looking bare? We've got... We've got full input here. Is it? Did I just... No, it's actually going at full speed. Do we actually just need another one of these blocks? I think we need more vulcanite processing. Um, probably not that much more before we actually run out of vulcanite. Since every time I check here we've only got a little bit. Uh, and it has to reach 100k before we actually start deleting it. But... We're, we're gaining it in storage. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're slowly gaining Vulcanite in storage. And right now we need more Vulcanite blocks. So let's copy this. And where should it go? Vulcanite processing is happening down here. We should probably build it more close by. Um, on the other hand, we've got the storage up here. 
How fast do we consume all of this? 262 Vulcanite per second. That is more than five stacks. Um, yeah, placement of this one does matter, at least a little bit. Why is this not drilling? Missing required fluid? I thought we fixed that. There's sulfuric acid here. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, that's a little bit embarrassing. Okay. Um, let's put some pie here. And... I wish the pipe didn't line up with the output. We could connect that much more easily. Um, actually, let's not do it this way. Let's just move this up a tile, add some pipe, and put that here. Construction box, uh, spiders, um, pay them a visit, please. Um, nuclear fuel is looking quite good. I want to get the uranium out of this block so I can build on it without being bothered by the wasted little bit of resource. Uh, I'll just send this train where it needs to go, though. And I think it's fine if we just place our new vulcanite block down here. And don't forget to fill out the rest of the rail. We'll have to give it tier 3 productivity modules for now. Um, so I'll make sure this is a little bit higher priority. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How close to our destination are we? Three, almost four minutes. Fantastic. Um, okay, so once those spiders get where they're going... I don't think I can use the module inserter on ghosts, but we can try. No, it doesn't work on ghosts. Okay. We had some traffic problems with... Uh-oh. Uh, okay, glad I didn't make those combined stations, because otherwise this would be a problem. Uh, we need to tell LTN what's at these stations. I'll just leave those trains there until they're empty. It's not a problem. Um, but yeah, it seems the traffic issues around the Vitamelange have sorted themselves out. Since we fixed the signaling or whatever it was. I, don't actually, I think it was actually just some missing wires up here as well. Alright, cool. That'll get rid of the last of that uranium. And then we can use that block for something else. I need to send this back to the depot once it's done as well. Uh, you can go home also. And I actually, I thought we fixed this, or maybe I forgot to send the train back. The wiring looks like... Oh, oh this red wire isn't connected. Okay. Easy enough. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Now then, two minutes remain. Let's 
spiders are building our new vulcanite processing block. And I think we might need to source more vulcanite core fragments as well. Um, actually, I would have expected to see more of a flow here. I should probably check on those outposts. Uh, let's see. Marielle is... what? Why are we lurching? Oh, because we're placing signals. Uh, we're not getting any straight vulcanite delivered right now. Where are our delivery killing capsules? Uh, I think it's broken. What happened? There's no LDS. Why... Why is there no LDS? Uh, I don't think there's much of anything. Did we f did we tear up Marielle's old delivery system and then forget to replace it or something? No, there's just no LDS here. What? Why is there no LDS? Um. There's no plastic. That is very concerning. What about our alternate LDS recipe? Um, that also needs plastic, and it is working for the moment. Uh, it's not a higher priority or anything. Uh, this side has run out of plastic. Wait, this is... Oh. Well, that wasn't too intelligent. Um, I've got... No, wait. Plastic here goes everywhere. Or did I mess up? No, these... These are finished tens of... Like, 10,000 products. So the plastic belt should go everywhere? Oh, yeah. We've run out of plastic over here. Somehow... Probably because of the length of the belts or something. We've got just a little bit of plastic in these chests over here. Um, so currently we only have one side that's producing LDS. Even though the inputs go to all sides. And then over here we're not doing a merge and split. Um, we're just having the left side come to the left side and the right side come to the right side. So it hasn't um, continued picking those up. Alright, why are we so short on plastic? Because we're so short on coal. I should probably... I haven't seen problems with copper yet. So I should probably focus on fixing the coal ships before the copper ones. We've already headed towards the copper ones, but Orchard 1 isn't too far out of the way. Uh, it is a bit of a diversion, but... I think we need to prioritize the coal. Okay. Does the outposter have... It's requesting energy beam stuff, but it's not received any yet still. Oh, I should probably build this out now as well. Okay. And we're going to need more reach with our robot ports. Um, is that actually gonna... No. Need to bring that up here if I'm gonna remove that one. Okay.
Um, so why have we still not received any energy beam stuff into the outposter, I wonder? We did start requesting it over here, right? Oh, how many times yesterday did I put in positives instead of negatives here? That's unfortunate. Greetings, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, well, there's your problem. Um, I'm pretty sure by now we've got a few energy beam things. 50, 97, 11, and 18. Okay, cool. Um, so that solves that mystery. I'm glad it's not a resource shortage, at least. We should just about be at our destination. Fantastic. Let's grab some uh, uranium fuel cells. Don't put them in my trash slots, please. Board Orchard 1. And we're going to give it two stacks of uranium on each side. Actually, I should probably make it more than that. Um, yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's board Hotbox. What's on the agenda today? Uh, first things first is rescuing some of our stranded spaceships, which the outposts took too much nuclear fuel from. Uh, so I'm going to give eight stacks to each of these, I think. Bec uh, taking into account that the the outpost is going to take some nuclear fuel. The next thing I want to do is um, get all of our outposts running off of beamed power so that they don't have to take any uranium fuel cells from these ships. Uh, and the reason that I don't want them doing that, because of the limited... Um, container stress. We're using these buffer chests here that provide the nuclear fuel to bring a whole lot of other stuff that an outpost might need. Um, ideally, it would be a... whoops. Ideally, it would be a requester chest uh, just for nuclear fuel, but that just gives up a lot of stacks um, that we could be using Maybe I should use the buffer chests for used up uranium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In hindsight, I think I should have used these chests. Uh, the ones that take the used up uranium fuel cells. Um, to deliver items like this. And we could just have requester chests here for just uranium fuel cells. Um, but now that we are on our way to ditching nuclear to run the outposts, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. So now I need to add in just a little bit of fuel. And head back to the hotbox. And Orchard 1 and head to its destination now. I should have double-checked as well that all of these ships haven't actually taken damage, um, because that has happened before, when they've run out of fuel. Uh, what am I looking for? Orchard 1? Okay. You're looking alright. Uh, are you empty or full? You are empty. Okay, please go to Orchard. And on to the next one. Um, Orchard 3 is moving. Orchard... This one? Number 5? It's not damaged. Just going to do a quick inspection and make sure they're not all damaged. If any of them are, I should go back to 
uh, Nalva's orbit to collect some spaceship walls. But so far, so good. Um, but actually, I want to prioritize fixing the Deadwood ships. So, Deadwood 2. Let's go. Because we need that coal. Uh, wait. Deadwood 2. There we go. Deadwood 2. Select destination hotbox. Fantastic. Is there any coal that I can exploit? Uh, there's 4.6 mil all the way down here on Nalvis. It's a little bit of a pain, but I think it's worth it. Um, so that's our temporary fix. Uh, I also want to... I forgot the steam engines. I also want to make sure we put some tier 3 modules in everything but the beacons here. It's better than nothing. It's a lot better than nothing, actually. Uh, so this thing right here just turns steam back into water. Oh, we can't actually do that without the steam engines if I don't change the blueprint. Uh, okay, why don't we get you to request a couple of steam engines? We've already got a request for that somewhere. Um... Uh, here it is. I was about to resort to using the mod. It would have had a, one or two more steps to make that happen. Okay, back to the mall for just a second. And then back down here, please. And then... Oh, we've already got some Vulcanite blocks here. Uh, we do have this set as a lower priority than the other build, so it's not too surprising that it's not all flowing at the moment. Uh, also, we seem to be missing some belts or something. No, it's just the balanced loaders waiting for stuff over here. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, I'm going to be super lazy with this one. Uh, we're just going to go... Rail out this way. And here's our coal. Uh, no, that's stone actually. It's just that dark. Okay. And then I had a blueprint I made that the idea was it'll be the laziest possible mine. Um, we just place it right on top of a mine and it's got a station built in and we can tile them. There's only one problem with this, which is when the uh, when the mines actually run out, it's not very good at getting the trains to pick up and leave. Um, I don't know how I could fit in balancing so that all the mines on the right go to the four, four or eight chests on the right. But considering there's millions here, um, it's probably okay. It's definitely what I want to use right this second because I don't feel like spending that much time designing a mine. Simple as that. Um, okay, let's have our rail go down here and up here. 
as well. And we'll have to add some signals. That should get built without any supervision. Let's bring the spiders down this way. And we'll build that rail out. What's your productivity at? Uh, do you mean like mining productivity bonus? Uh, mining... Uh, next one would be tier 9. And if we look at our bonuses... Uh, plus 80%. Ian Noah, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Daniel, good to see you again also. Uh, okay, so I'm surprised we're getting coal here so consistently. Every time I check, maybe it's a coincidence. But we're struggling on coal and not getting plastic done. We may have just coincidentally got a drop-off of coal. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. As soon as this takes off, the rest of this will empty as well. Liquid rocket fuel at least is looking good now. Or better, anyway. Uh, so we should have... Yep, we've got our energy beaming stuff delivered over here now. Fantastic. Let's check on Calidus. Uh, seems we've built... Why are we not building another Robocot? Whoop, wrong one. Uh, oh, poster. We've got loads of Robopods here. So, why are the bots... Oh, because this isn't connected. I was going to say why the bot's not building up here. Okay. Cool mod, it's a pity that I can't officially buy the game because of the war with us. Uh, oh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, Grimadeb, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. We've still got the 3119 degrees heat over here from before. What is this energy beam doing? Oh, right, right. Yeah, it's aiming at empty space in Navas orbit. We just can't see anything around the preview. Actually, I'm surprised... I guess it stops doing this effect if there isn't a receiver. I suppose that makes sense. We're getting fairly close to clearing out Rampart. I don't know if we're going to have to go there to clear out the biters directly. If the glaive is going to switch to... Uh, mobile targets after it clears out all the spawners or not. It does incidentally kill a lot of biters, but um, from what we've seen so far, it doesn't go for them deliberately. Cool. Uh, let's see if this is done now. Fantastic. Let's remove the most distant Robopots. Replace them with flat solar panels. One by one. And I think we can also lay out some panels down this way. And 
happens next. Alright, how far are we from Deadwood 2? Three and a half minutes. Fantastic. What's our speed? 92. That's quite good. Uh, and still no sign of taking any damage occasionally. Oh, I should check. We're still at 68 durability on that repair pack, so yes. We haven't taken a scratch yet. If we do take a scratch, and a scratch means destroying even a single piece of wall, uh, we're going to have to send a rescue ship for our rescue ship. Hopefully it won't come to that. How much power do we have here? Uh, 28 gigawatts. Good start. Uh, we probably... Yeah, we're only using less than half of it now with this setup. Um, if we want to clear Rampart a bit faster, we need to change the shape of this thing. Or I suppose we could just add these over here for the simplest upgrade. Um, but yeah, it is getting close to time... Well, we could comfortably double this. Um, and how much power? 4 gigawatts each. If, if I remove one of these, does that make the maximum for this one 8 gigawatts, or is that not how that works? Um, how much power do we actually need? So on Nalvis, we're looking at about 13 gigawatts. I would rather go for like 20. Um, so that's like... If, if I remove if I remove one of these and this becomes eight gigawatts max consumption one gigawatt but it can clearly beam a lot more than that is there a maximum that any one energy beam emitter can transfer I don't know what the shape of the beam emitters is going to be uh, but I do know we need to produce as much power as we're going to be beaming all over the place, first things first. Um, playing with this is going to be relatively easy to figure out, as long as we've got enough material. Uh, so let's say we want, like, 20 gigawatts for Nalvis. We want to leave room to keep building uh, at first. Uh... Hard to say how much we need for outposts that are currently not in motion. What was the reason that we're not getting anything here? Oh, LDS is actually a problem because of plastic. Yeah, that's actually really scary. That could crash the entire... the entire base, really. We don't need any LDS. I think I should change all of the outposts to use uh, the secondary recipe for delivery cannon capsules. Our high throughput ones are both already using the iridium plate recipe. Um, and we should have plenty of ingots. 22k, that's actually a lot. Yeah. I, we're, we're showing no signs of approaching the limits of our Iridium supply anytime soon. Uh, and LDS is struggling, so I think we should change all of our outposts that are using the old delivery cannon recipe uh, capsule that uses one LDS. We need to swap that over to uh, Iridium Plate, which is going to be a bit of a pain. We should probably also... Well, Rose using liquid rocket fuel is probably fine. 
It's not the liquid rocket fuel here, it's the liquid rocket fuel it takes to take off from Nalvas that's the issue. Especially since we're using it for all of our shuttles. Um, for some reason it takes a lot more rocket fuel to send items up this way compared to cargo rockets, but I still want to do it um, because it's a lot less hassle and a lot more throughput potentially. Um, that is a lot of small trains trying to deliver artillery shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why are there ten? Shouldn't we have a limit on this? Uh, train limit five. I guess not. Well then, if I'm being lazy, I could just make another storage for this stuff. How many artillery shells do we still have in the mall? Uh, not many, actually. Zero. We did it. Okay, I think it's just because they're trying to put the shells into specific chests. So, why don't I try something like this? Uh, please let it be available. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't you have the pylons yet that are also robot ports? I do, but in some ways they're a little bit disappointing, unfortunately. Um, so basically, uh, the radar construction pylon has a ton of range. This big square over here is actually it. Uh, but the problem is, with our current robot speed, uh, even with just the one radar construction pylon, which doesn't actually recharge bots, the, the bots you know, trying to build things that, as far away as possible will run out of energy before they get there, and then they just come back. Um, so, not that great as it turns out. Though we can get them to build things this far away. So effectively their range is something like this, um, and we definitely can't just chain radar construction pylons further away because the bots run out of energy. The bots need more power? I don't think there are power upgrades for the robots. There's, um, there's speed and there's carrying capacity, that's all, unfortunately. But I think the, I think the speed, uh, the energy rather, gets drained from them at the same speed, no matter how fast they actually go. One more. Alright, we can get rid of these robot pots now. Replace them with... Uh, solar panels. What are we at? 32 gigawatts? We might be getting close already to enough power to run everything in the solar system. Not here, please. And the bots should probably be able to reach that with that slow bullet. Alright, so next is just building out some energy beam emitters. 
I also need to go to each of the outposts and place some uh, receivers. Power output from solar panels should get exponentially better the closer you get to the sun, indeed. Uh, that's why we're building this at the orbit of the sun. Uh, this is as close as you can get. 12.1 megawatts uh, for each flat solar panel. It's pretty good. Uh, let's run a little experiment and see exactly how far the bots can manage building this out. Also, let's see if we've reached our destination. We have. Fantastic. Okay, so once again, I'm going to take plenty of uranium fuel cells. I'm going to put one fuel cell in each of the reactors. And even distribute between these two. Back to the hotbox. And was it Deadwood 2? That we just rescued? Yep. Uh, are you full or empty? You are full. Go to Nauts, please. Fantastic. That should be fine. I should put some doors on the back of this. Uh, whoops. We can go a bit faster with the rocket, with the jetpack. Get in the ship. There we go. Alright, who's next? Let's just double check Deadwood 2 is underway. Destination is Nervous, 38 minutes. Going nice and slow until we have more accumulator charge. Fantastic. Okay, so... Deadwood 7 is doing just fine. Deadwood 3. Deadwood 4. And Deadwood 8 is stuck. And I don't think we're going to find any that are stuck in the solar system because... They do have solar panels. Okay, so who... Was it Deadwood 8 that's next, or... Yeah, Deadwood 2 is underway. This is our hotbox. It's kind of weird that it's just two of them. Okay. Uh, Deadwood 8... And we need to set this target as well. Fantastic. Uh, we should be there in like 20 minutes. So Pulsnia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is that big thing for? Uh, this energy beam receiver doesn't actually work while we're in motion. Uh, but when we park it in Nalvis orbit, we're receiving power, well, heat, actually. Uh, we, we receive an energy beam and we convert that energy into heat. Uh, and it has a surprisingly large heat capacity. As in, we can just heat this thing up and then go around on interstellar journeys, feeding the heat for the heat exchangers um, to run the ion engines. Uh, as you can see, it is, it, it's draining heat from this thing very, very, very slowly. I do have a nuclear reactor here just in case, uh, we run out of heat, but I really don't see it happening. And this thing can go all the way to 10,000, uh, degrees apparently. Um, so it's basically a uranium fuelless nuclear reactor-ish setup um, so that we can run ion engines. 
Don't rockets drift slowly if they run out of fuel rather than stop outright? Yes, um, it is very, 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 very slow. Um, that's actually the reason why I have to... If, if I want to dock with this ship, for example, um, I actually have to set the target to the ship that I'm docking, uh, that I'm boarding from. Otherwise, it's, like, getting away at a ridiculously slow speed. And we can never actually catch up with it, even though it's, like, two centimeters away. Alright, back to... Nervous, I suppose. Do we have this rail built? Looking good. So, with where I put this... We've already got chain signals facing both ways. Um, that'll sort itself out. We'll put some chain signals on this side as well. And... Here. And here. I think I forgot to put signals as part of this blueprint as well, but no, we don't even have room for it. We can have one train parked here or one train parked here. It's fine. Uh, this part is not fine though. I definitely need to revise this blueprint a bit. Um, in order to make the lazy mine effective. We also need to run power to this thing. It's looking a little bit sad so far. Okay, this will work. At least for a while. This one, not so much. Uh, let's run the pylons first. That's quite a lot of pylons. And I'll get the spiders to run by all of that. And then come back here. I'm thinking... Hmm. I'd need to move this. Or the... I think if I move this one tile, it's going to give beacon sickness to these drills down here. I could move it up here, though. And then... I'll just turn these belts around. Uh, and then maybe like this. Yeah, this is a surprising amount of work to have to do after dropping our so-called lazy mine. Definitely needs a little bit of a redesign with the belt. Um, I can throw down a copy of it here, except it's not going to include the mines. So I need to fit... Do I have something 5x5? Five five? Just so that we know where the mines are supposed to be. I need to fit, ideally, all of the mines on this side going into all of the chests on this side. I mean, ideally, ideally, all of these mines would go into all of these chests, but uh, I don't know how we're supposed to actually fit that. If I turn... we don't necessarily need to have the accumulators in here. Uh, if I turn these around, and then we have, 
I think one of the reasons I did it this way was looking at the right calculations. Um, is this not connected yet? It's not. Looking at the rate calculations when I was designing it in the super editor, the throughput of the mines was going to be too high for the belts like this. But that was probably with a productivity bonus of like 57 trillion. So what if all of these go up here? This belt goes here, this belt goes here. That's after going through a splitter, except for these two. Hmm. Can we fit a splitter here? I don't really think so. Not unless we move the solar panels, which might be encroaching on the, the tiling. Sushi belt? Maybe. If we don't mind slowing it down to one belt, uh, the problem actually, uh, one belt on each side, that is, the problem actually gets pretty simple. There's no modules in this one. I thought I was going to be able to right calculate. Okay, how many mines is this? Uh, 24 for each station. Once we've got power to these ones, I can just multiply this by 24. And that should be happening right about now. Fantastic. So with our current bonuses, oh my goodness, uh, 176 coal per second. So really we want two belts um, on each side, which is why I was splitting it this way. But I, the whole point of this mine being it's easy to slap down. I don't think, um, I don't think having the belts go this way and this way and then when you run out of resources somewhere or if you just don't have the shape for it to start with, it becomes a problem. Um, I don't really think that's the way to go. So, Ideally, I would like to get 90 per second from each side. Uh, and ideally, ideally, not have to move these uh, flat panels up here. What about the flat panels in the middle? This wide area beacon placement is already perfect. If we tile this whole thing over here, it just barely doesn't... Um, cover the miners from the other block. Um, so I really don't want to change the position of that. It would be so much easier to merge and split these down here, though. I think. Hmm... How much easier would it really be? Uh, I really want a splitter, these two. And then... That would only be half a belt. But this doesn't fit. I might just have to remove some of the panels. Well, if it's going to be that far out, then we may as well just do it this way. I don't think we can make it any smaller by doing this, because that would have to... Yeah. Okay, so let's keep it simple. This goes around like that. We're not going to have anything sticking out down this way. Wait, I think... That is supposed to go there, though. We're just going to have to have fewer solar panels. That's not that big a deal. It was really just to fill in the space. Um, so... 
If one belt... I don't think the inserters will be able to keep up anyway, will they? If one belt covers this side, then the other belt uh, should cover this side. We're going to have to get rid of that accumulator. I think that's about as good as it gets. Wait, why do you have speed modules if you didn't place them over here? So that should have all of these mines going evenly into the four different cargo wagons. Um, and just because aesthetics, that can go there. Uh, I kind of need a big mine to place this blueprint onto uh, so that I can update it. As long as it's going to place all of the uh, miners, it should be fine. Okay, cool. Let's get our construction spiders to pick this up. Oh wait, don't delete the belts just yet. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll leave this here as a reference until I've finished updating the blueprint. Okay, where are we? Six minutes until we fix that ship. Uh, where are our coal ships? Deadwood 2 is almost home. Kind of. It's actually nine minutes out still, but hopefully our coal is recovering now. Uh, we're actually, yeah, we're actually completely saturated on explosives. Um, we've got a train limit here as seven, so if this is full, and there's any need for explosives, there should be like seven... Well, if there's a lot of need for explosives, there should be like seven trains coming here. But we just saw the first one get assigned. So we've very much caught up on explosives, which does sound promising for coal, which sounds promising for plastic, which sounds promising for LDS, which sounds promising for the base. Um, we haven't caught up on plastic just yet, though. How much plastic is it? I think it's one for either recipe. Ten plastic for this version, and for the alternate recipe, uh, only two. So I really, really want to prioritize this one, actually. And since we're saturated on glass and aeroframe scaffold, it's really only this station that we need to prioritize. And I want a priority pickup. I've already got it. A priority pickup for the LDS that we produce here as well. So if we can produce enough... Uh, LDS from this block, uh, we can stop relying on the old recipe entirely, even without dismantling this. Okay, cool. Uh, let's update our mine blueprint. And I didn't realize we would actually be mining, but that's okay, I suppose. 
I need to work fast so that there's not too much stuff that the spiders will have to carry back though. Okay, so we're going to need to remove a bunch of stuff here. One, two, three. Where did that blueprint go? Uh, what was it called? I think the... I, th I think the blueprint that I just made would have had the default... Oh, here it is. Um, why don't I just remove all of these to start with? That'll also stop the stone from slowly filling up. Okay. So this one goes... Express underneath is in the way. This one. Okay, remove that. So we can still fit this solar panel here. And some accumulators, I guess. Uh, but I think... Where is it? Yeah, those three solar panels at the bottom are not going to be part of it anymore. Because they'll be encroaching on that belt. Well, two of these solar panels, actually. Which means... We could just throw in some more accumulators, I guess. Okay, now we want to mirror this on the other side, except uh, I forgot the uh, substation is going to be a problem. I could just move where I put the substation, although currently it's being used to bridge the gap between some of these chests. I don't think it's necessary though, it's just an aesthetic choice. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's remove all the belts on this side. Uh, all of these as well, please. And then... Just the belts. going to fit over here, hopefully. I'm going to have to remove this. And... I don't think there's a way to do this without moving the substation. But we can put the substation... I won't say almost anywhere, but it's not hard to find somewhere to put it. Uh, so let's put that around about here. I'm pretty sure there isn't a way to save one more tile here. If that skipped a tile so that this could go here... That would have to go up here. Yep. Okay. Accumulators. And... That one can stay the same. No, it can't. This will also have... These accumulators here. That one can stay... And I think that 
is our new version of this blueprint. Much better. Oh, we need to make sure all these wires are connected as well. Uh, thank you for the follow, Raren. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've been lurking here and there this week while working. Really enjoy the calm, relaxed vibes. Just forgot to follow until now. Cheers. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you. Alright, so these are all connected, right? Yep, seems good. Um, so now we're going to... I'll make a copy before I do, just to be sure. And select new contents. Uh, so the snap to grid is going to start here and come down to here. So these three solar panels and uh, nine, well, ten, eleven, I guess, uh, accumulators are actually the same when we tile it. One chest isn't receiving any stone. Upper right quadrant. It looks like it is. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, this one has a condition on it. Oh, because... Okay. Uh, I don't know why... I don't know why this had a wire connection. Wait, where is it connected to? I'm just going to delete it and put another one in. And make sure all of these are connected and not... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, 14, 15, 16. Cool. Uh, actually kind of handy that we had this uh, slow mining of stone happening with the solar panels, where it might have been hard to spot that. Good catch, Ian Newer. Thank you. Whoops. We're still two minutes out. Um, okay, let's grab our blueprint again. And select new contents. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. Let's update the mine that we just built. We'll get rid of this old one. Pretty confident that we're not going to be using that again. Might be a bit much for the spiders to have to pick up here, but I'm hoping they can fit what we've mined so far. I don't think they can. Rip. Uh, let's go update these mines over here. There's actually a lot of stuff. Uh oh. What's your problem? Wait, why don't you have power? Did I break... I broke a substation. Um, but as soon as this train leaves, I think I want to delete all of this and put it back. Put a radar there? Um, I could replace the radar, the substation with a radar pylon, I guess. Oh, as in, in that gap, it might be convenient. Could do that. Although, doesn't the radar construction pylon use more, uh, use less power? Yeah, it's only 100 kilowatts. I think, if anything, we'll use that. One at the mine. Oh, just one here in general? Like, manually? We could do that. Mm. 
Okay, the bots are going to have a bit of a trek after this. Unfortunate. We are almost at Deadwood 8. Fantastic. That was relatively quick. Did we pick all of this up? Yes, good. Alright, train be gone already. You need another 75 coal. Wait, don't we have power yet? We should have power. We do. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to send you on your way. And then... Uh, there's actually a lot of coal here already. Alright, um... Deconstruct this. Deconstruction planner. Uh, chests blacklist. That should be fine. And then, quick as I can, on this blueprint, so we can see exactly where that goes. Fantastic. That should do it. there yet. Spiders are a bit over full, but other than that, I think we're good. Cool. Let's send them back. And I think once we get them to the mall and get their inventories cleared out, We'll send them back to pick up the bots as well. Oh, there's no miner here. There's no... There's no splitter here. Why is there no splitter here? It sh they should have all been in range. Oh, it's going to be specific bots that have assigned themselves to drop that. If I do this... Yep. That should sort that out. Blame your bots? I mean... It's just because they pick an arbitrary bot for each job when there's a bunch of jobs to do. But some bots are still slowly crawling back to the spiders. As in, they are the issue. <laughs> What? That boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, spiders back to the mall. Make some room for the bots. And then we'll come back for them. Uh, but yeah, that should all work pretty well now. Uh, we do have a provide stack threshold of 160. We only need to change that when the mine is completely empty. No, no, they are the issue. No sass. <laughs> right. Alright, let's grab a copious amount of uranium fuel cells. Visit Deadwood 8. Drop the fuel cells into the reactors. And... Put them in these chests. Back to the hotbox. Deadwood 8. 
destination. Are you full or empty? You are full. Nervous. And away you go. I think it's better to set the destination before the accumulators charge up because we want them to accelerate. We want them to not go fast immediately. Make sure they're able to shoot down the uh, meteors. Okay, back into our ship. And we do have a few copper, uh, some orchard chips to rescue as well. I just wanted to prioritize coal. There's actually three of them. Seem to be four of them that seem to be dead in the water here. Let's go for orchard six first. Away we go. And your destination is now the hotbox. Okay, back to Nalvis. Oh, our spiders are taking... Maybe I just lose track of the scale of this place. I mean, it really is quite a big area that they are walking across. You're looking for coal, no doubt. Yes. Cool. There's, of course, going to be a traffic issue with one train at a time going through here. But for the rate that we're going to be mining coal, and for how long this mine is going to last, uh, I don't really... I'm not too worried about um, improving the throughput there. We're down to 2.4 million copper here. Oh, yeah, of course, because... Um, because we haven't been receiving our copper shipments. We've been dependent on the mines again. Do you use a lot of U-235 for space research? Uh, yes. I couldn't really tell you about the scale too easily, but... Uh... What have we got here? Cryogenics... Decompression... There was some build here that was swapping... Here it is. No, that's not it. Biochemical resistance. Here we go. Radiation exposure data. Uh, it costs half a uranium-235 to make a single radiation exposure data. There's also... Um, half a U-235 to make radiation data. There's a few of these. I wouldn't say a lot. Yeah, I don't... Like, whenever I've been building these, we've had enough U-235 to sort of take it for granted. Uh, so I don't really have a visceral sense of how much U-235 our research uses. Uh, radiation resistance data. Radiation exposure data. There's at least four that consumes. I think all of them are 50% U-235. Dull rocks are dull? Finally, wait. Finally, a way to get rid of all of that 235? Okay. Um, so we are 24 minutes away from rescuing our next ship. What needs our attention in the meantime? I never catch this block that we built doing anything. Uh, Holmium ingots. Are we still struggling with that? 8.7k. I think it stacks to 100. 8.2k... 16k, that's enough for a train to pick it up. 
not enough to trigger a delivery that no it's a stack size of 50 so that's like two train loads we're almost there to getting it delivered uh is this flowing why not adding in iron beads vulcanite okay we need way more vulcanite we already built another block for processing it which i forgot to add an icon for here also, we seem to be missing... Oh, wait. What am I saying? Block. Uh, there's something missing over here. It's just a radar. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. I remember we were actually using this. Um, but it would also help if we fixed... We're still not getting LDS here, so we're not getting Vulcanite. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain no matter how I go about this. But I think I would like to change it so that we use the alternate recipe to make our delivery cannon capsules. So we need to add Iridium Plate to this. Uh, we're not delivering Iridium Plate to the old block. So, I think it's about time... Uh, that we stop using this one for Mariel. And we'll take advantage of, let's say, this one. Mariel DC chest. We're going to need uh I don't wanna hmm. I wanna copy these inserter settings. And I want to make sure I set this to Mariel. Chest goes here. And this one and indeed be explosives. Mariel goes here. No nuclear fuel on board. Are you going to expand the solar fields in Calidus orbit further? Uh, yes. Why are the ships stranded? Yeah, they had nuclear fuel, but the outposts took too much from them. Um, and I could have just used requester chests, um, as opposed to the buffer chests for the nuclear fuel, so that the outposts don't take the nuclear fuel from them, but, uh, but I didn't want to give up all of those inventory slots in those chests for other things. Um, and we could fix it now, but we're moving towards replacing all of that with, uh, beamed power. So I don't really want to go through all of the ships changing them. What was I working on a second ago? Oh yeah, Marielle. Uh, we need to... Let's add this. Uh, planet... Marielle. And it was this one, I believe. Why can't I... What? 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 Why couldn't I place that just now? Add tag planet Maria. Fantastic. Um, switch this on. We also need to change what we're requesting. I don't think we need heat shielding anymore, do we? I, I think I'll just copy this from Via Terra. Uh, we need all of these things. Actually, probably not the uranium. I don't think we're running Mariel off nuclear power. It's all just solar. Um, okay, so we're going to put that there, get rid of those. 
And we should receive ingots in just a moment. I think. Let's check on the cannon. Yep, there we go. Alright, so next is... Can I copy it this way? Yeah, I can. Um, we're not going to need the uranium. We are going to need uh, sulfuric acid barrels. And I just need to change the target here. All right, yell. But how does this? Whatever. All right, yell. Uh, stone brick is gonna go over here. Actually, switch that on. Do we need copper plate still? Yeah, we need it for the. Uh, the defense installation ammo. Okay. So that's gonna be copy to here. Uh, iron plate. Mario. Iron plate goes here. Steel goes here. Make sure they're all switched on. And last but not least is sulfuric acid barrels. Oh, this should say sulfuric acid barrel as well. Steel. Uh, what's this? Iron plate. Copper plate. And stone brick. Explosives. And iridium ingot. Fantastic. Alright, that should have Mariel begin to function again. Oh. Not before we turn the ingots into Iridium Plate, however. Okay. Is there a way I could get some plate shoved into this chest, ideally. If I make this a passive provider, um, I might have to do that circuit again, where we can put multiple things into the robot network in one chest. Do those delivery cannons fire often? Indeed they do. I love the idea of exp of shooting explosives through fa uh, space, indeed. Araran, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Scale the summit, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And, uh... Kuchen, welcome. Is there a delay based on distance for those delivery cannons to the chest? Uh, no, but they do take longer to... Well, I don't think there is. Um, but they do take longer to charge up, depending on how much gravity and distance they have to overcome. Replace the couple, uh, copper cable makers? That's a good point, actually. Yeah, that should be... much easier. Uh, let's go for... Iridium plate and iridium plate and 
Viridian plate. Oh, this is ingot, actually. Why are you not picking up the ingots? Oh, there's a enabled condition. Wait, what is this even connected to? Oh, just the logistic. Yeah, no, I did that myself. Okay, cool. That's fine. All right, that's our delivery cannon capsules for Marielle. I'm guessing they take the same time to build, yep. Alright, so that will be a not insignificant boost in our Vulcanite. Um, why is this thing still switched off? Nalva's CF Vulcanite processing. That's empty right now. So we're sending... Yeah, both of these are empty. So we're saying, please send four fragments. So this light should be switched on. Four fragment vulcanite greater than zero. Oh. Oh, we're not doing that because... This accumulator isn't charged. Why is it not charged? Because this power pole isn't connected. There we go. So these ones are already firing. And once this accumulator charge hits 90%, uh, we should see the little lights on these uh, inserters go green. And we'll start sending Vulcanite core fragments from this place again. Uh, it is a fairly small moon, so we're only looking at another 14.4 core fragments per second. But we've also got 7.7 .7 million Vulcanite uh, directly to mine here. And we could also go for another mine if we really get desperate. Um, but yeah, Mariel is quite small. Radius is 2,000. Uh, Gogira, on the other hand, 2672. Palto, 2197. I guess they're not that much bigger, actually. Um, but we're getting significantly more. Is all of this working? We've probably just stopped because it's night time. No, there's no... Oh, same problem. We don't have... Wait, we do have LDS here. We don't have explosives? I thought we fixed explosives. Um... That said, we might be able to do better with upgrading this to using the new recipe as well. I don't think one of these can support two of these though, can it? No, it's actually net negative on Iridium Plate. Okay. Well, uh, we know this one is working though. That's good. We have indeed run out of explosives again. What is going on? Didn't we have explosives completely saturated over here? We do. Yeah, there's explosives being delivered to the old... The old block right now. I think it's just a function of not that much storage capacity for the explosives, and it ran out. Uh, so all the more incentive to patch all of this over to the new block. Speaking of which, let's delete that so that we can tell 
we have updated this one. Uh, Penium, I don't think we ever had up here. Hagen, fantastic. Alessandro. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Be back in a few minutes or so. Uh, should I leave you with the pretty lasers or perhaps LTN screensaver? How far are we from our target? 17 minutes. Okay. Uh, I think LTN screensaver is a little bit more interesting, right? All right. Back in a few minutes or so. Big clan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And a uh, great call on swapping out the copper cable machines. All right, back in a few minutes.
Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Zonix, good to see you again also. Blackheart, welcome, welcome. Devdot, welcome. Okay, where were we? Um, we're probably like 15 minutes out, yep. From our ship still. And we were working on... Oh, did the bots get back already? Yeah, they're actually almost home. Uh, back to the spiders, that is. Why are we filling... Why are we trash... Drop-offing lots and lots of explosives right now? That seems kind of strange. I wonder where it came from. Uh, I am quite happy with the new design for the lazy mine. Gets the job done with minimal fuss. Um, let's see. We were looking at outposts. And some of the old outposts weren't running so well because LDS had stopped. I also... I don't think Tullaby has been doing anything for a long time. Um, kind of need to, like, remove most of this. Get rid of all this old clutter and set up a nice, succinct little outpost. As if we're starting from scratch. Um, Rose and Viaterra should be working just fine. Uh, Gogira, I think, was the one that we found that was broken. And possibly Alessandra, uh, Palto as well. Palto's working. And it's running off the same stuff. So, what's the big deal here? Gogira. You're lacking explosives. Um, did we... Put Palto on this one? Don't think so. Gorgira and Palto are right next to each other. This one's got explosives. This one has explosives. It doesn't have um, low density structures reaching this part of the belt. It comes in on a different train station. I see. So we're still struggling or catching up on low density structures and because we've got like separate belt systems here, that's how that's working out. Okay. Um, we kind of need... We kind of need these planets to be flowing. I can't really put that off. Uh, so let's get Gogira. We've also got a mine over here. That was Iridite. We're not having any trouble with Iridite. I'm not going to worry about this one. Uh, Gogira DC chest number two. Okay. So let's patch Gogira one over to our new block. Uh, planet Gogira. Is that how I spell it? Yes. And then... Got gear a DC chest. Goes here. Have you mined all the surface deposits of Vulcanite on your main Vulcanite planet? Or was coal mining just more efficient in the long run? It's more efficient in the long run. I only set up the mines to take the temporary patches when we're going through a rough patch, basically. Um, because replacing those over and over is not my favorite part of the game. Um, okay, so we're going to need... Uh, I think I do want to... Swap out the recipe on Gogira. But 
We're going to need to do something a little bit different. Oh, we, we already have a system here for putting a little bit of everything in the logistic network. Very convenient. Let's add ingots to the mix. And a couple of stacks. Um, we can change this one to uh, to make iridium plate. But that alone won't be enough. So let's add a machine or two, probably just one, uh, up here. And we're going to request... Uh, I guess we could also direct insert this one. But we'll put a requester here. Um, for Iridium Plate. Um, and we also need to put that in a chest. Cool. Uh, so we're going to send Iridium Plate to Gogira DC chest. Where is it? Up here? Gogira... Goes here. And... Explosives on Gogira... Also goes here. Fantastic. Uh, we also need to add uh, ingots to our requests here. And I don't think we're sending any nuclear this time. Okay. Are we... Fantastic. Here it comes, and here comes our ingots, and here comes our plate. Uh, we do need to update this recipe first. And that'll be... Uh, I kind of need to move this. Let me just put a limit on this one. Put it under the beacon. That's the only reason I was doing that. Uh, I kind of want to wait until this is gone. What can I do? No. Uh... We're gonna just have to... I'm not sitting there all day waiting for that to change. Owl Pal, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so that means we need to request a chest for the plate over here as well. Uh, we need to I was going to say, I guess we could put this here, but no, that doesn't actually help. What do the Iridium ingots stack to? Uh, I think it's like 10 or 20, actually. The ingots stack to 20, and then without productivity bonuses, we get 4 plate uh, per ingot. And the plate itself stacks to 40, so it's a lot more stack dense like this. But also, we can't send plate directly. Alright, so that obviously is going to help. Um, are we still too slow? We, we probably are still too slow on the Iridium plate. 
Yeah, so one more machine. I love how the spider legs just squeeze out of the way as soon as the bot's trying to drop the, uh, the plate. Okay, that should be Gorgira sorted out, except I mustn't forget to send all the other stuff. Um, so we'll be needing uh, these five things. Uh, copper, stone, iron... And steel and sulfuric acid barrels. I'll change the targets to Gogira before I update the inserters and request chests. Repetitive beats, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, copper plate, we do still need uh, so that we can make the media defense ammo. And stone brick. Uh, stone brick goes over here so that we can make the green circuits. Looking good so far. Iron plate goes here for the batteries. Steel. Goes up here for the ammo. And last but not least. Uh, sulfuric acid, acid barrels also goes here for the batteries. Uh, and then I believe we have one more Palto. Uh, Palto was running just fine for now, but I would still like to patch it over. Uh, so let's make this one Palto. And I should copy-paste this so that I can easily update the cannon uh, targets. That was so rude. Alright, get rid of this. And then... Should just copy-paste this down here. And we're wanting... these. Um, Alto is our target. And that'll be going here. Um, we've got the exact same layout, so we're going to have to do the same hatch over here. Going to add... Oh, we're also using uranium? No, when well, this is all solar. Okay, we don't need to request uranium. Oh, that's not a request, that's um... That's for how much uranium we could put in here. It still doesn't particularly matter. Okay, so no heat shielding or LDS. Um, since that was just for this thing. Uh, we're going to request Iridium Ingots. And I believe everything else we need is in place. We could tear up all the old solar fields that we've got on these outposts um, and replace it with beamed power which would be much easier to upgrade
This one is going to take a while to run out of uh, delivery cannon capsules. We can probably patch it before that happens. Okay. Uh, I want to steal what I did on Gogira. And patch it into Palto. We'll add some requested chests for uh, both of these, actually. For Iridium Plate. Seems good. I think that might be everything on this end. So let's update it on this end as well. Help to. That's already set up correctly. Um, ingot. Away you go. Oh, uh, we could definitely. Can we copy paste it like this? I don't think so. That one's probably not requesting what we want it to. Uh, let's just rotate it by this. Explosives go here. Um, I'll aim all the cannons first. First things first is get them to point at the right planet. Actually, that was a much more efficient way of doing this. Got the plate goes here. Stone brick goes here. Iron plate. Steel plate. And last but not least, Sulfuric Acid. Uh, and now we can just copy, paste, rotate, flip. To get the settings. Actually, is this one wrong? Sulfuric Acid Barrel. Did I flip that around the wrong way? I do. I should double check all the others then. Uh, this one is iron plate. And this one is copper plate. This is backwards as well. Glad I double checked that. Cool. Okay, pretty sure all of those are working. Uh, products finished. A bunch of these say zero, but I think it's just because we've already got all the resources in this chest. So I need to make sure I check on Kalto at some point uh, to make sure we didn't make any mistakes there. Oh, and we also need to allow Iridium Plate to be put into the robot network. Fantastic. Oh, that's not plate, that's ingot. Say two, one stack. Fantastic. So now there should be more ingot on the way. That was not more ingot. Okay, more ingot is on the way. Fantastic. 
Are the ingots being delivered to the assemblers on the left? Yeah, that's what I'd missed. Nice. -o. All right, that will keep our core fragments flowing and save us a lot of LDS and heat shielding and everything that goes into that. What's your biggest core mining setup? Uh, apart from Unnavis, where we've got 64 drills here, which is well and truly into diminishing returns territory. Uh, but we're getting 163 core fragments per second from that. Uh, but uh, other than that, I think the biggest one we have is on Pennium. Well, we've actually got the same number of drills here, but uh, I, I got rid of some of the drills because we just sort of don't need them yet. Um, and we're running off nuclear power, so the energy isn't exactly free. It's not just the uranium we'll be saving when we patch these to use beamed power, um, but we won't be using the uh, delivery cannon capsules, explosives, uh, energy, etc. to deliver the uranium. Why not solar there? Distance to Calidus. Yeah, it's the furthest planet out. Um, it's actually only 21% solar. And on top of that, uh, it is a very hostile planet. Um, it's 33% Bida threat, but its radius is 9,500. Um, I'm not about to clear a planet of radius 9,500 with conventional means. Uh, although we could, I suppose, use the glaives on it. Although it took... I, I said that in the past tense. I suspect we've cleared um, Rampart already. But I need to confirm it. Actually, one way to confirm it would be here. It's switched off. Does that mean we killed everything? Uh, let's do the Confirm Hostile Extinction. Did I misclick? You've confirmed that your conquest of Rampart is complete. Cool. Never even set foot on it. So now we can trim the surface when we want to. But first I'll set up an outpost here at some point. Um... So this is going to run off... This is going to be our first outpost that runs off of beamed power, I think. We do still need a lot of water um, to run off of beamed power, because the way that works is we get heat, and we use that to run steam. Well done, good sir. Um, thank you. Seems like a plague rocket would solve that problem. Um, I think the plague rocket turns all the... I don't know if it's core mining effect. It affects core mining, but I think I heard a plague rocket turns all the vitamelange on the planet that we came for into coal or something. But we've got it all working out anyway. We've got a very small... I can actually trim surface again. Uh, we've got a very small area revealed on... on this planet. It seems the uh, pyramid is included um, when we trim surface. So I guess if I want the minimum map size on Rampart... Wait, what? What? what where are we? I guess if I want the minimum map size on Rampart, I am going to have to be close to... Wait, is there not... Oh, we actually don't have a pyramid here. Okay, cool. So we can pick 
Uh, we can pick any spot on the planet, set up an outpost, and build, uh, just build there and then trim surface and then that'll be everything. The Plague Rocket sounds a bit monka s yeah. We don't have the science for it anyway, just yet. How close are we to our destination? Three minutes. Alright, cool. Um, let's have a look at the outposter. Oh, we ran out of scaffolding. That's kind of good. I mean... We got all of our building done for this trip, just about. Let's put our solar panels here, at least. Oh, that looks cool. Wouldn't Pentium be an ideal candidate for beamed power? Uh, yes it would be. Um, except we set it up before we had beamed power. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's got a rather large nuclear reactor. I don't know if the distance of the heat pipes is going to matter, but my idea is we could just add a receiver or two on the side. Unfortunately, we can't quite fit it here, uh, but if we put if we put a heat receiver on the side, um, we can stop feeding it nuclear fuel and just run it off of solar. A Dark Fire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we Nurgle now? <laughs> Indeed. Um, okay, what do I want to do right now, though? Uh, how's our coal doing? I, I sincerely doubt I'm going to see any in storage. Okay, we have some coal in storage. At least for the moment, coal is doing quite well. Which means our plastic should be looking good. Uh, I hope. It might not have had time to catch up yet. Um, I still never, ever catch this block making Holmium, and it makes me sad. Uh, I think we had, like, just a little bit less Holmium than we need to trigger a delivery here. Oh, that's right. This is ultimately bottlenecked on... I, w I wanted to say plastic, but it's actually Vulcanite. Okay, back to the mission of increasing or restoring the flow of Vulcanite. That's going to take some time to catch up. So we've fixed, um, is this bottlenecking on, no it's not, there's no, this part of the belt is looking kind of empty, so we've got enough cannons. We're only getting 35 core fragments per second from Palto. Uh, that is a lot of drills. Uh, 60 core fragments per second, potentially, from... Your gear up. Except it has to stop at night. Yeah, okay. So the planets that run off copious solar, uh, it's definitely going to be worth adding some energy beaming to those. If only to have these run at night as well. Um, but yeah, can the... Can these keep up making the delivery cannon capsules? I don't think so. I've got a lot of patching of outposts to do. Mariel, are we still... There's no explosives. How can there be no explosives? Every time I check up here... We've got loads of explosives. Uh, did we patch Marielle down to here? We did. 
It's not trying to send explosives. Mariel DC chest. Okay, it's not actually supply that's the problem. Explosives, negative 200, each equal to one. Uh, that, that might be the problem. Yeah, I forgot one little bit of patching it when I changed it so that it would send extra explosives. I accidentally made it so it would send no explosives. Except I thought we fixed this earlier. We s no, we had a bunch of explosives here. How did we end up with a bunch of explosives here? If that was set up that way. Oh well, it's working now, I think. Um... Yeah, so then we can get back to sending Vulcanite directly. Morning, Mr. Hex. Robust. Good to see you again. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finally started messing with the LTN mod and now I'm totally addicted. It's got a learning curve, but it's worth it, I would say. I mean, there's so much that I've done that would literally be impossible with vanilla uh, in this playthrough. Oh, we should be at our destination. 19 seconds. Okay. Uh, how much heat do we have left? Still 2,266. So it's practically infinite. We've gone from Calidus all the way up to almost Capellas. And then we've come all the way back down here. Uh, and I don't remember exactly how much heat we had le uh, we had in our energy beam receiver. We're not bothering using any nuclear fuel. That's just for an emergency. Um, but I think it was something like 2300. Something like that. Um, we've been running off of the heat stored in this thing the whole time. Alright, let's grab our... Uranium fuel cells. Board Orchard 6. Same here. I just have yet to learn what all the differing, different new signals are for. But I'm sure I'll learn at some point. Indeed. Uh, okay, we want a... Oh, you're at 500 degrees. Yeah, that makes sense. We want a little bit of fuel in there. And set that to go. Back to the hotbox. And then... Uh, what's your target? Nalvis. Away you go. Now, I want to rescue these ships and then immediately get to putting energy beaming in place in those two outposts. So that we can avoid this happening again. Uh, who's next, though? Orchard 8, possibly? Yeah, Orchard 8. Away we go. Should just be a few minutes before we get there, or less. Um, let's have a look at the outpost. Uh, I think we finished what we're doing here for now. Let's go back to Nalvis Orbit. Get resupplied. I should have removed that substation. Oh well, it's fine. And all of our emitters have stopped for now. Um, I could start clearing Quillian. It's a much larger planet than Rampart, though. But we're going to be doing it faster as well. 
1643 versus 7319. Or we could even go after Penny. No, I don't think I want to use the the autoglave on Pennium. Because I think it's going to cut across our nuclear reactors randomly. That might be bad. We don't want to use autoglaves on planets where we've got stuff. Um, so I think we'll just leave Pennium as it is. But I do kinda maybe want to start clearing out uh, Quillian. It might take a while and we might even have to upscale our um, our power over here. We might need more uh, injectors. We're only using like a third of our power. Come to think of it, I could have built that while the outposter was there. Whoops. Um, let's place this as well while we can. And then... Yeah, I kind of can't wait. Let, let's, let's see what the autoglave has to say about Quillian. Quillian. Target. Autoglave. Oh wow, that's fast. Oh wow, that is... that is devastating. Jeez. Okay, let's add another one. Um, it is still going to take a while. In fact, it might be a problem racing against the Biter expansion. Uh, but we can add more beams, or faster beams. At some point. I don't know when or if we're going to need a ton of stone again. Uh, but one more planet doing core mining means more vanilla core fragments, which means more of all of the basic resources. And an infinite supply at that. More faster? We'll get there. Uh, zero seconds. We've just now arrived at Orchard 8. Fantastic. Um, I might ration the uranium fuel cells a little bit more. Oh, I haven't told Orchard 8 to target Hotbox. That's why we're not getting there, even though we are there. Hotbox. Okay. Board. Uh... No. What are you doing? Stop. No, I don't need those. Leave me alone. And away. No, I need to go to the console to board the ship. Okay, I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna lead these bots on a merry chase. And then get back to the console. Board the hot box. And then go back to this thing. Fantastic. Uh, we're full, so let's go to Nalvis. Killer logistic parts. Yeah, they're terrifying. Okay. Back inside. Who's next? Uh, Orchard 2 is doing just fine. Orchard 6 we already saved, I think. Orchard 7. Away we go. 
And you can go to the hotbox. Thankfully exceedingly slow, indeed. Okay, so that'll be just a few minutes before we get there. Um, let's check out what, actually. Uh, let's check on the outposter. It's still halfway back to Nalbus. Okay. I think Rampant, uh, Rampart would be a good opportunity, actually, to lay out a new, um, uh, standard outpost template. Well, we've already kind of done that with Enium. Um, we do sort of need to make a new reactor design. Uh, not reactor so much as energy beam receiver. We just have to fit this stuff around... Well, come to think of it... Come to think of it, I have no idea how many um, steam turbines we can support with just one of these energy beam receivers. And considering it can go to 10,000 degrees, that's probably... Are the heat pipes going to be a problem if they can only go to a thousand? I don't really think so. It's going to look a lot like this, but the receiver uh, takes up more and less space in the middle. Hmm. This is the kind of thing I probably hop into um, editor extensions to design because of all the landfill. I could just try building around it very carefully. That's never going to work. What am I saying? Uh, I might just... Hmm. I really don't know how many... Let's say we're going to go... Oh, this is actually only two of these reactors. It's so big. Um, let's suppose we go with... Why don't we go big? And we can always just half build it if we don't need that much of it. 824 to 480 is our ratio for uh, heat exchangers and steam turbines. What's a quarter of that? This thing is going to be radially symmetrical, right? So half of this. Uh, 206 and 120. A El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Reva, welcome, welcome also. Uh, okay, so... The only question is how I shape it so that we can fit all of the... Uh, offshore pumps super duper close to the uh, heat exchangers. Um, okay. I'm going to make an attempt 
to just very carefully build this out with uh, landfill. And I'm going to shake and cry when I accidentally landfill something that I didn't mean to. It's going to be great. Save point? Yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. Uh, looks like Holmy might be doing okay. Maybe not as much as I would like. I should probably get rid of... Yeah, I should probably stop feeding um, this block if I want to use the new Holmium powder build more often. We've got better productivity modules here. Um, we might have another build somewhere for Holmium plate. It, it should be around here. So it, there it is. Okay. Let, oh, this is priority 100. Oh, wow. It, was this one priority 100 as well? No wonder we weren't getting Vulcanite blocks for this build down here. Well, that should sort itself out. We do have Vulcanite being made over here. Fantastic. Why is this one requesting tier 6 and the rest are not? Uh, let's fix that. Tier 6 modules. Everything, please. There we go. Okay, how close are we? 17 seconds? Let's double check Orchard 7 has its destination set to hotbox. Fantastic. And let's check in on Quillian. Oh, wow. Uh, where are the glaives? How many biters have we killed lately? I wonder. Kills. Uh, let's remove asteroids. That's a pretty big spike. So in the last 10 minutes we're looking at... Uh, two... Sp about three and a half spawners per minute. Hmm, that might be difficult to catch up with how big this planet is. Probably. Oh, and there's a... Uh, there's a pyramid here as well. Might want to check that out. Alright, we've reached our destination. Let's grab... We've got eight, nine, ten stacks of this left. How many more? Uh, one. Just one more ship after this one that we're trying to rescue. All right, board Orchard Seven. The bots are attacking again. And we go fast. One and a two and oh my nope. Even distribute board hotbox. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, and it still had the text on the preview, that's surprising. Alright, you appear to be full of copper, so please go to Nalvis. Fantastic. Might want to put more power into each glaive. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think we still have one ship to rescue. Orchard 5. Yep. Let's go 
to Orchard 5. And you go to Hotbox. Fantastic. Alright, now where is the outposter? It is getting resupplied. Fantastic. Uh, we'll give it a minute for that. It's now carrying energy beaming stuff. So we'll add some more. I might even just... Um, I don't know, how fast can the glaive get? That might be a worthy experiment. If we place this here, close together can we fit these, I wonder. That doesn't quite have room, but over here. There's not a definite number of energy beam injectors that we can fit. Uh, per beam chamber, so that is one off being able to fit even more. Um, what if we do it like this? That's one tile wasted. How many tiles wide is this? Uh, let's see. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. So if we have three of these, a, a multiple of three energy beam uh, chambers, we can fit that elegantly. Rumor of tecapetting. Glaives at very high power. Never seen it though. Teleporting. Oh, really? So it's like one gigawatt per energy beam injector, right? Ten gigawatts, ten of these. Yep. Um, we've got 23 to spare, 16, 17, 18, we should be able to fit this quite easily, even before we add any more uh, solar power. And I'll just give that the same settings as these two. So we'll have four glaives, um... Two of them significantly faster, uh, tearing up Quillian. Also, uh, we could probably... No, I need that. I need that to charge the hotbox. We'll leave that as it is as well. We can probably afford this for now also. Okay. Wait, 6.32 gigawatts, really? I thought... It, so it costs us 1 gigawatt to run each of these injectors. And 1 gigawatt to run the emitter. Only 100 watts for each chamber. So how is this 6.32 gigawatts? 62% transmission efficiency. Hmm. I see the efficiency drops off just as quickly as, um... Okay, a little bit less quickly than the solar power that we get from panels. Uh, but suffice to say, if we point it outside of the solar system, it's going to be practically nothing.
right. Four minutes until we're at Orchard 5. And then we can go back home. Where's our outposter? Uh, or rather, how resupplied is it? It's ready to go-ish. I don't actually need the scaffolding right now. Um, so I'll just send it back to Calidus. Calidus Orbit. Let's double check we got the name of the sun right. Where is our outposter? There it is. Uh, ETA 12 minutes, yep. Okay, it's going to the right place. What is Stardew? Uh, Stardew is our first and only uh, interstellar asteroid field that we've scanned. Uh, there is a tiny, tiny amount of nacritite uh, that we found over here. I marked it on the map. Here it is. We've got a whopping 10,000 nacritite on something like 30 or 50 tiles. Uh, not what I would have hoped to find. And I have actually scanned all over the place here um, looking for it. If I delete the surface, are we going to lose this marker? I know it's left from the origin point. We did auto-scan it, but it actually goes in all directions, and it's a bit harder to look around and see what we find. But yeah, it's basically an asteroid field in deep space, um, but you can find nacritite there. And I was hoping to mine it for the nacritite because it's so close to Calidus, but I don't know if we're ever finding any more nacritite in that place. Speaking of which, we could probably do some... If we do regular zone discovery, is it possible to... No, I don't think... I think we have to specifically do deep space zone recovery. Um, in order to find these places. Why don't we find another several of them? How much is this? 180? That's still pretty cheap. The amount of nacritide is pretty pathetic anyway, as in that's the norm. Alright, three minutes to our shift. Um, we did sort out the explosive situation, right? Yeah, we've got 9k here. Okay. What should I be working on now? I kind of want to do some space science. And... What? Why... I don't remember setting this as less than normal priority. Oh, it was probably because we didn't have the... Probably because we, we didn't have the modules in yet or something. Oh. Uh, I'm surprised how much this was receiving what it needed for so long. Uh, but now that we've had any plastic troubles whatsoever... Uh, not so surprising. I'm going to bump all of these up to priority one. Uh, since we're using the better productivity modules here. But even so, if we're not saturating plastic everywhere, um, something's wrong. But it might just be that we haven't caught up yet. Why 
Why do we not have petroleum? What? There's no water here? What? You're, you're joking. No, that was marked as space pipe. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Spiders, get over there, please. Um, this one's actually out of crude oil. This one has both. The fact that this one is out of crude oil is also concerning. Oh no, indeed. Uh, we got some research done. Grotto. Uh, where would Grotto be, I wonder? It's way over here. Uh, a lot more Nacrotite, though. Frequency 332% as opposed to... 112. It's not as much of an improvement. As I might have hoped. Hopefully we can find something a bit closer that still has more than a whiff of Nacrotite. Happy little space pipe incident, indeed. I didn't actually check if the bots got it sorted out. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna need to do the thing with the construction bots to make sure they've got inventory space. Um, but yeah, considering this one was actually out of crude oil, uh, I don't think that was enough to affect our overall throughput. In the long run. Okay. Where are we going? 1 minute 40 until we fix the last one of these ships. Uh, this one is working. Morpheus hasn't been a problem, oddly enough, with that uranium issue. Maybe because it's running on more solar power? Not sure. Okay, how big is Morpheus? 4,177. Okay. Threat a hundred percent. Yikes. Uh, more copper, if we need it. That's good. Zone discovery is incoming. And do we need to refresh this? I think we did. Cosmic Dustlands. Uh, Nacrotite is even worse than Stardew. Lots of copper. But I'm not about to go into Stellar to pick up temporary copper. Where is our outposter? It is crawling back to the sun. Got a lot of barrel in our asteroid belt. Not that we've had any trouble with barrel for a while. 58 seconds. Uh, this is the last ship that we're rest- I'll, I'll keep a stack of uranium fuel cells. Well, no, we're, we're absolutely not going to run out of heat before we get back. I'll, I'll give it to the ship. Okay. Which- I think it was energy science that looked the most attractive to go to tier 4 first. So let's look into that. We need uh, 
boson data, fusion test data, magnetic monopole data, and star probe. Which gives us a thousand data when it launches. Does this work just like the vanilla uh, rocket launches? Space probe rocket silo. A rocket silo for launching space probes. Okay. We can build that pretty easily. In fact, I should probably automate this over here. Should have done it sooner, but it's not particularly urgent. Um, where should I put it? Over here? Oh, we do have some space probe rocket silos. Uh, we have two. Who knows how many we're going to want. These guys do have scaffolding. Good. Let's build a block over here. And then. Which is going to be the easiest of these to do? Bell... But Felame. Felame. Not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, it is very close. And it's mainly copper. It's barely more Nacrotite than Stardew. Sad. Well, it might be worth a look. I do wish there was something to automate finding exactly where these resources are. Um, in these asteroid belts. Okay. So, for boson data, we just need one... We just need blank data cards and two types of fluid. That's interesting. And we get... Uh, only 20% boson data out of it. A lot of junk data cards. Well, that's probably going to be the easiest one. Uh, force field data plus proton stream becomes fusion test data. There's no percentages or anything. Uh, I stand corrected. This is the easiest recipe. And then we've got something very similar to boson data. Uh, two, two fluids, one solid in, and then some junk data cards out. Uh, star probe is a complete mystery. I mean, the probe itself is a thousand blank data cards. We get a thousand cards out of it. And then a bunch of other stuff that we've already got in the rail network. Um, just takes 60 seconds. It would almost make sense to make this in the mall, but I don't want to keep the mall busy with something like this all the time. Um, so the real mystery is... Uh, what it looks like when we use this silo. And I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like the vanilla rocket silo. Auto launch with cargo, space probe... Oh, space probe rocket. Wait, what? Space probe rocket deployed. Uh... Does that mean we have to put in... I think we still have... Wow, this looks different. I think we still have the old rocket silo here. Yeah, so these are the inputs. We just shove space probe rockets into it. And then the satellite. Wait, we can't put that on the ground, can we? and use productivity modules. 
Uh, cannot be placed on land or spaceship. Okay, cool. You have to launch the probe in correct locations? Oh. Uh, does it tell us about it here somewhere? Launching satellites. Space probes. A space probe rocket silo is not a satellite rocket silo, but is designed for use in space. Instead of building rocket... Uh, instead of building rocket is launches pre-built? Uh, Pre-built space probe rockets. A space probe rocket is much cheaper than a normal satellite rocket. Pre-assembled space probe rocket silo can launch satellites cheaply, but can also launch more specialized probes and collectors from specific locations in space. That doesn't tell us a whole lot. If I recall correctly, you have to build and launch it in areas like asteroid belts for some reason. Hey, Jay. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Is it not all there in the manual? Um, that it matters uh, exactly what it does if you launch it from different places? What happens if I launch one from here? Also, I think there's like at least two. There's Asteroid Belt Probe and Star Probe. Collect data from a star, return star probe data. Must be, and there we go. Must be launched from a space probe rocket silo that is in close orbit of a star. Okay, no worries there. We just have to... We just have to take it to Calida's orbit, um, but then we need to... So we need to build the star probes, and build the um, space probe rockets, which we've already got here. We need to put those on a spaceship, and take them to the sun. And then launch... Uh, launch it from one of these rocket silos at the sun, and then we get uh, star probe data, and we have to bring it back. So all of this stuff, the heat shielding, RCU, uh, solid rocket fuel, a thousand blank data cards, uh, we don't need to take those anywhere, we just need to take the star probes, right? Um, it's on the description of the star probe data card. Yep, thank you. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think you can't use it wrong, it just won't work. Okay, that's good. Just refuses to launch. Alright, cool. So what's this one? Uh, asteroid belt. Does that mean we can launch it from the asteroid belt in the solar system? We don't have to go to, like, an interstellar asteroid field. Must be launched from a space probe rocket silo that is in an asteroid belt. Okay, so... Uranium fuel cells. RCU, aeroframe, flat so tier 1 flat solar. I didn't think we'd be needing those again. Thousand blank data cards, a hundred solid rocket fuel. So exactly the same thing, except we need to take it to the asteroid field instead of the sun. Interesting. Well, those are going to be fun. Let's do the energy one first. Why? How? What? This is like 6,000 scaffolding, and you are requesting how much? 7,000 each. Uh, where did all of our scaffolding go? Do we have scaffolding here? 
we we have zero scaffolding. Uh, okay. What about our rocket that delivers space belt and scaffolding? Orbit mole. Here we go. It's full of scaffolding. Um... Uh... Where's our transmitter? We're asking for 60k scaffolding right now, so that'll fill the rocket. So that means we're actually having trouble getting enough scaffolding to trigger an auto-launch. That's kind of scary. Um, where are we making the scaffolding, though? It may be the case that we were making it in the old main bus base. Uh, why is this stuck on 22%? Oh, there's no electricity, that's why. I'm hearing sounds. What? It's making sounds as if the machines are working, it's just very quiet. And they're not actually moving. Okay, um... Do we have all of this? There's not another reci recipe for scaffolding, right? No. Um, so we've got all the ingredients here, and and we've got a station to pick them up. There's just no electricity. Okay. Why don't we remedy that? Let's get our construction spiders. Did I fix this? Uh, yes, and also the bots are still being weird. Okay. Uh, let's get our construction spiders back over here to reconnect this power. And I think in the meantime we'll, we'll just manually send our rocket full of scaffolding. In fact, deep space asteroid fields don't work for the asteroid belt probes. Sounds about right. Alright, are we there yet? We are there yet. Let's go. Board Orchard 5, I've already got the fuel. The bots are attacking. And... One for you, one for you, and a whole bunch for you. Board Hotbox. Uh, was this it? Orchard 5... No, that's the outposter. It was Orchard 5, wasn't it? Yep. You are full of copper. Please go... back to Nalvis. And now we can go home. Okay. This is a rather useful little novelty ship. Um, I'll just double check we don't have any more stranded ships out here. Looking good. Fantastic. You're okay. All right, cool. So I think we've got four interstellar... Well, regardless of how many interstellar outposts we've got, I think we've got four stars that we're traveling to and from. 
Um, and I'll want to set up uh, solar power at each of those. I'll go for Capellas first, since um, since coal is our biggest bottleneck for stuff that we're getting from core fragments right now. Well, out of the interstellar stuff, that is. Where are you? Calidus Orbit. Fantastic. Please anchor here, and build me some energy beam emitters. Also grab some stone that I forgot to stop deconstructing. Okay. Those should be a bit faster. What have we got, deep space-wise? I think the last one I checked out was... Uh, Fell Lime? Let's see what we've got. No, I don't think I checked out Fell Lime. Yes, I did. This is even worse than Stardew overall. The same amount of Naquitite, but a bit further away. Sky Fragments. 209% uh, Naquitite, and only about twice as far away as Stardew. That is much better. Uh, Black Mirror is very far away, but has all of the Naquitite. I may end up exploiting that one. Uh, Crystal Collective is nothing but stone. There's uranium over here in the Interstellar Barrens. Okay, so Sky Fragments and Black Mirror is more what I was looking for there. Black Mirror was also my go-to Naxos, so I'm guessing it's not as... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Is it perhaps not that random? The map generation? I think I remember something about planets being, or at least some of the planets being like designed and named. Alright, outpost. Uh, do I want to do anything else over here while we're still here? I could definitely add more. Actually, how much power do we have? Yeah, we can add more of these. I think. That'll recharge the hotbox quicker. And we've got like one gigawatt to spare. Okay then. Well, we've got four glaives uh, doing the work now on Quillian, and these two are... they should be significantly faster. It seems that one up there is one of the faster ones. I kind of want to experiment with this some more, actually. Um, but we're going to need some scaffolding for that. What if we... How many of these things do we have total? Uh, 30. And this is 16. I need a little bit more solar power. It's going to be a pain to place it, though. I think I'll move the ship down. Launch. Anchor to Calidus Orbit. Down here, please. Mods. Uh, Falcon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
same names, not always the same names. The closest Nervous Moon, for example, is always crude oil without biters. Some planet slash moons are guaranteed to have a certain top resource. Indeed. Does SE mod use the same planet names every playthrough? Uh, no, I, I've seen another solar system that looks... I wouldn't say nothing like mine, but it's definitely different. Alright, I'll give the bots a minute to place all of that. And I was thinking about having like uh, 32 um, 32 injectors going into these. So I'm also curious, um, this is six gigawatts, this is 10, what the hell? Is it still climbing? It is very slowly climbing. Hmm. Did this go up? This is still four gigawatts. If I remove one of these, does that make this one eight? I should have checked before I moved the ship. Uh, if we have 16 here, it should be 8 each maximum. But this one's at 10 and this one's at 6. Uh, but that adds up to 16. So is it just because this one took more of the power first? What if I switch this off? It still says emitter strength 10 gigawatts. 10.44. That was sudden. 10.86. 11. Is this because we're adding solar panels? Doesn't look like we're adding solar panels. 11.82. 12. 12.18. 12.35. I don't understand. Okay, I think when it's actually in use, it's going to drop down to uh, whatever amount. You're not using the emitter, so it builds up an internal buffer. Okay. So, can I not... I mean, these two are perfectly balanced. Why are these two not balanced? Can I make them... Can I make sure they are balanced? Is there any point to having two of these connected? Apart from just using that space, which who cares? These glaives really have their work cut out for them. <laughs> Quillian, 7,319 radius, 100% threat. Be interested to see to what extent they're able to clear out the planet with only so many upgrades. Alright, as soon as this part is built, oh my goodness. Um, well then. Thank you for your service, bots. Are they getting... They are managing to place these, right? Are some of them trying to go too far? How much energy do you have? A little bit. No, it looks like they can actually reach. Uh, maybe not the diagonal, but they should be able to reach up here. 
before they run out of energy and turn back. Should employ those fast robot charges, that's a good point. Um, I think I may have them here. Yeah, I do. It might be a minute before it actually gets built, though. Oh, that was surprisingly quick. Well. I should do a redesign of uh, the outposter so we can take advantage of more of the uh, whole stress. Although that would mean it would be less fuel efficient and get around slower. The glaives appear to radiate heat from the touchdown point and kill nearby creatures. They do indeed. Need a quick charger on this ship? Yeah, this is the first time... Uh, well, this project is the first time we've been demanding so much of the bots on this ship. Scaffolding is a lot of jobs to place. Alright, let's check in on Nalvis Orbit. Uh, we should have our scaffolding. Um, we've got... I don't see any scaffolding here, actually. What, what happened to our scaffolding? Okay, I see a bunch of it in our spiders. Apparently, all of the scaffolding from that rocket launch got put into the scaffolding spiders already. We should be producing it again now, at least. We've got electricity. There's no steel here. Why is there no... Uh, steel is on the way. Okay, cool. Why did it take until this thing was emptied. If we're asking... Oh no, 16k is one train load. That's why. Okay, so that should be... sufficient. I just want to be absolutely sure this is working. Here it comes. Fantastic. Okay. We are seven minutes out from now, but still. Oh, and while we're at it, I was going to say we should build a space probe rocket silo. Uh, that's one more thing I need to add to the requests. Um, for this ship. I may have gone a bit overboard requesting scaffolding. Um, we could probably... Probably not with a couple of those chests. So let's add some space probe rocket silos here. Um, so we can get those built. And to ensure that we actually get that put in the outpost, we're going to need to request them over here. Oh. Scaffolding spiders are on the way. Uh, construction spiders can probably start moving as well, actually. Wrong one? Uh, what was the wrong one? Satellite rocket nope. silo. Oh, good point. Uh, space probe rocket silo. Uh, um, 
Can I just set the request threshold to one this place? So we don't have to ask for ten of these. And also I can deconstruct this while we're at it. What are you doing with all of that? Where did you get ice, nutrient vats, plastic, and rail? That is confusing and concerning. Oh, it was probably from up here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Okay. How's our coal mine looking? Seems to be working. Trains are able to get there. Fantastic. How's our liquid rocket fuel situation? Uh, looks bad. Yeah, looks really bad. I regret everything. Changing it to shuttles, transporting everything from Navas to orbit. A space elevator would be wonderful. Uh, this might be set as a high priority. It is. Hmm. I think I want to change it back so that we set the request priority above normal so that we make sure we have the rocket fuel, uh, but we set this as a low priority to get rocket fuel from. Fulminite is flowing, that's good. Been an educational exercise, shuttles and rocket fuel, yeah. I mean, I did check and noted that, okay, it only takes 50k rocket fuel uh, for a cargo rocket to launch. And if we pretend that all of the stacks of, uh, if, if we pretend all of this stuff is going to get there, um, it is significantly less rocket fuel than it takes to get the same amount of resources into orbit using a spaceship for some reason. Uh, however, I kind of wanted to just power through the amount of liquid rocket fuel we would need to change over to this, partly because we never really had trouble keeping up with the liquid rocket fuel before. Um, and also, obviously, it gets rid of a lot of logistical headaches. Um, cargo rocket sections, crashing rockets, etc. Even just going to Nalvis orbit, we do get a lot of rocket crashes. Where are our spiders right now? Oh, they're right here. Okay. Uh, let's get them back to one of the malls, and I'll sort out their inventory issues. Excellent thinking. It is if we can catch up with... Oh, here's a coal mine I forgot to actually build. Uh, it is if we can actually catch up with the demand for liquid rocket fuel of which we are struggling presently. Oh, how many... I haven't checked on this in a while. How many prod modules do we have? Uh, mostly they should be accumulated here. 156. That's actually a little bit disappointing. Um, how many would it take... Uh, to upgrade all of these. One hundred and forty seven. We could do it. I think I'll do that as soon as I get back. Get more out of our oil. At 
least we fixed explosives. I think. Oh, but wait. As soon as I get back, I wanted to go get started on a solar project for those other... Well, it'll, it won't take long to upgrade the productivity modules. Alright, how... What? Why are the bots hovering with nothing in their inventory? Oh, don't tell me. Uh... How many bots do we have here? 916? That's more than two robopods. How did that even happen? Uh... Hmm. We might... Might need to leave some robopods here at least for a little bit. Yeah, I th think. Well, I didn't even put a limit on this. We just shoved construction bots in um, without limit. Let's go for. Robot statistics, total construction bots, uh, less than 350. Actually, why don't I make it stack size 1 and exactly 350. Bots can be inserted into a roboport while others are flying, yes. That's what happened. Um, I don't think I have a way to... put them back in the box? Do I? We did place a lot of scaffolding. Uh, in a relatively short time. Alright, let's check on Dalvis Orbit. We've got our... construction spiders, but we still don't have enough scaffolding to finish this. All of... Uh, this is not the first time that resources that I've taken for granted have gone back to being a problem. But we do have our scaffolding here. I won't send the construction spiders back, I'll just send the... Uh, uh, scaffolding spiders. We can at least make a start on this block. So which one should we do first? Probably the easiest one. Which is fusion test data. We just need one solid, one fluid, and we don't even have any uh, any annoying outputs. It's like a normal Factorio recipe. So we need a particle collider. And I guess we'll start by... Uh, building in the top right corner, since that's where we've got all of our scaffolding. Recipe is going to be fusion test data. And not sure exactly. Should probably work out from the middle. Might make sense. Oh, I gotta be careful with these. They look a bit weird with how they fit together. There's actually a gap here. Those are big. I don't know... One, two, three. If we're desperate, we can save one more tile here. But I don't think it's going to be that dire.
Oh my goodness. Um, I doubt if we're going to need to like fit this four times, but this is actually taking up a lot of space. What if we have a squiggly belt for output? And this is actually nine tiles. Let's go for five and some underground. Okay, that is maybe a little overkill. Uh, that actually won't work with the beacon. Or will it? No, that's fine. Except... Oh no, yeah, no, that's good. We'll have our inputs uh, right about here. I imagine they'll be slow. Let's put some modules in. Uh, we need to include particle collider here. Let's go for speed 6 modules and we see what that looks like. How much power? I think it's going to be very power thirsty. 130 megawatts? That's not as bad as some other blocks. Um, electricity. 2.7 gigawatts. Uh, in total. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. They don't have efficiency modules for some reason. Why do our spiders not have efficiency modules? Well, I want to see what it looks like at full speed anyway. Two point seven gigawatt, no problem. Yeah, no worries. I mean, we're in orbit; it's fine. What are we looking at now? Three point eight four gigawatts. It's actually a little chunk out of all of this. Uh, how fast would the products be, though? Is this overkill? Twenty eight per second. I think this might be overkill. Uh, how fast can we get force field data with our extant builds? Force field data, we're looking at... Uh, well, if we double it... Wow, that is a weird-looking belt. Wait, what happened here? Junk data cards... Uh, full... Provide stack threshold is only 120. Provide priority 100. And everything appears to be switched on and connected. Junk data cards. Where do they go? Are we full? Oh. Um... Uh, oh, wait, are we missing like one piece of belt that's going to hold up the entire base? That's it, isn't it? Yep. Jeez, did that say you have 75 gigawatt capacity? Yes, it did. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, force field data, we can easily double it. Oh, this doesn't even use beacons yet. This is an old build. We could, we could actually, uh, 
that's painfully close to being able to easily fit uh, the beacons in here. But we're only at um, 6.2... Oh, 3.12 force field data per second. Wow. Um, so until we upgrade all that old stuff, this is just ridiculously overkill. Uh, how many would we need? Like, two of these machines? Okay. I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, be back. Oh, we're almost at Nalvis Orbit. No, that's Nalvis. Nalvis Orbit. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. In the meantime, enjoy some uh, trains. The Sipika. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for the rate. How's your stream today? The crazy bacon hair. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Greetings, T-Hacks and crew. Good to see you again, Sifa. And Veldak, of course. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Good to see you again. You all just caught me coming back from my break. Uh, stop that with the... There we go. Uh, so we just got back to Nalva's orbit. Um, the outpost, uh, where is it? Did I leave it at the sun still? Oh, the bots are still upset. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can indeed put the construction bots uh, in a chest. We're running out of space for them here. I need to put some logistic bots. This is a problem. 
It might be easier, if a little more time-consuming, for me to just go over there. But if I can just get, like, a logistic bot... Um, ...into the robot network, that would be very helpful. Unfortunately, they're all in this chest. And I think what I'm going to have to do to fix that is remove this, move the accumulator, move the chests over, put a robopod here, put an inserter here. This is going to be a little bit of a headache. How is Calidus? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Bad space driver? What? It's the guy who don't know how to limit the speed of his planes over land? What? So we get Sonic Boom even in space? <laughs> Indeed. There's a floating Logibot over the requester chest on the right. Is there? I think this is... if this is... oh no no, there is one right here. How did this happen? Does that mean we just have to wait until this gets recharged? How on earth did we get one logistic bot? <laughs> what? Okay, so we're packing up all of our construction boxes uh, into this chest. And... Or at least all of the ones that have to get into this robopod. Um, we've got 480, we can fit 350 in here. Oh, but this includes what's over here. So that's, that's going down. Cough, cough, how on Nalvis is the correct phrase? Uh, how on Nalvis? How on Nalvis? I don't understand. Can't say how on earth, indeed. Amazing. I wish I could get these bots to go recharge at the supercharger. Um, instead of what they're doing right now. Why don't we just play with our spiders for a minute? Um, so I'll build this as if we're going to build it for the end game. Um, and then... Wait, where are our scaffolders? How did we get this built? Well, I'm not complaining. Um... So I want to fit as many of these machines as possible in one block. And then... We can scale it down. To what we actually need. I'm gonna have our output down here. Requester station goes here. And like so. Okay, uh, so how fast is one half of this going to be? 57 force field data per second, so that's four belts. Wait, no. I think it was one to one, wasn't it? Yeah, so 57.9 fission test data. So we're going to have four belts of input, four belts of output. Um, we can 
have an input belt down here. How, many, how fast are these machines individually? 1.8 per second. I think we'll take advantage of some long arm inserters. That doesn't look like it lines up, but it does. And it's just one solid, one fluid for the inputs. This one. Uh, we're going to be need a bit of a zigzag belt for the outputs. That's too close, I think. I should probably double check some of these. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Good, good, good. 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 This one's wrong. Fantastic. Okay, so on each side we just need two belts. Um, I haven't really left room to make that happen. How much room do we have here? Five tiles? Five tiles, okay. Um, can I fit... I could definitely fit the fluid on this side. And we'll put some pumps like so. This might get a bit awkward. Uh, but I suspect we can pull it off. So that one's already connected. That one is not. But it's not a problem. Um, what would be the max rate of the fluid? Pretty slow, actually. Okay, no worries there. Pipe, connect like this. And... Like so. Might just keep these two connected even. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, this can go nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, you say. Can't do it with fewer pipes, no matter what. Pretty sure. Okay. That could be a three B. So all of these columns should have fluid. And then the question is, can we get the inputs where they need to go? 
Uh, so... Should that go to the middle, or...? I think we can pull this off. That one might be a problem if we keep these pipes connected this way. This one wouldn't work out as well. Well, it'll work at least. Fifty-seven per second. Um, so one column is going to be only fourteen per second. Yeah, no, that's right. The middle one needs to have um... oh that might be a problem the middle one needs 28 per second that's fine okay so we have our two belts splitting off and then we need two belts coming this way Actually, how much is 24 of these? Just under a full belt. Well, that was easy. Um, we can actually just have uh, one belt go this way and one belt go this way. This part might be a bit tricky. Holy crap, I went away for a while and a whole new process is completed? Process? Uh, what kind of process? Uh, thank you. I could remove one of these pumps. If we don't mind it taking, like, three whole seconds to unload the fluid. Otherwise, I don't see how we're getting the input belt down here. If I bring it from over this way, that might be a lot easier, actually. Because it's coming from this side. Yeah, that's going to be way better. Um, so that's going to go there. I kind of feel like swapping which side these long arms are on. Uh -huh. Oh. I've just gone and made that harder for myself. That one's already corrected. Uh, thank you for the follow, Woody Wizard. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so this is going to go to the right, actually. Well, the left, but it's upside down. And we're going to pop that over there. This goes here. We'll add a splitter. Some undergrounds. This one needs to go over here. Uh, we could do an underground pipe there, but we don't need to. And then on this side, well, let's finish this one first. Um, get rid of all that. 
and we can actually just bring this down here. Cool. Um, why don't we underground this part? left is to mirror what we've done with the belts and then do the output belt which is trivial. Let's connect these and what are we looking for again? Force belt data. Uh, force belt data. There it is. Okay, let's add that over here. We can't just copy paste flip that because of how the inserters are weird about putting things onto straight belt. Uh, so we need a left 90 per second, upside down. Put this over here. Add a splitter underground. I want that part to look more consistent. Um, this is the part where we do this, and then the ground belt goes here. We need some inserters. Make sure we line them up. Properly. Uh, I think I messed that up. No, I didn't. These t these go to these four. These go to these four. And so on. Uh, what's next? A little bit more underground belt. This goes down here. And that's all about inputs. And we're looking for force field data and proton stream. field dot where is proton stream oh it's under fluids okay and how fast are we going to be consuming it even when we do go max speed oh quite fast really fast actually compared to other datas um we're going to go for two train loads of why did I start that with a P? Two train loads of force field data. Uh, proton stream. 20k before we request some more. This is already connected. This goes here. Don't forget this piece of belt. Or this one, for that matter. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Cool. Uh, output is going to go here. And I'll just double check again. Whoops. Uh, multiply that by four. 
Yeah, I think even with tier 9 speed modules, we wouldn't be looking at more than 4 belts. Um, so let's do one of these. Need the spiders to get in range. Um, since we're getting up to four belts of throughput here, I might do it this way. I'll do a, a couple of separate balanced loaders, and then it doesn't actually matter if half of the block isn't working. So this one can go here, uh, this one can go here, and so on. Let's put some undergrounds through this way. as well. That almost fits perfectly. How about this? And then... That goes there. What are we making again? It is called Fusion Test Data. Fusion Test Data Provider. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, this is already switched off. I think we're done. Okay, so this will give us ludicrous throughput for this stuff. This will be the last block of these we ever need to make. Um, and for now, I'll just get rid of most of it. And we'll leave the right side station switched off. We also don't need these inserters just yet. Could have just done a deconstruction planner. That would have been much quicker. Alright, let's remove those, and uh, we're missing some inserters on this side as well. Let's cut off that belt. And... Slightly overkill? Yes, indeed. I think this is probably all we're going to need, realistically. Um, but we can very, very easily upgrade it uh, if we want to. Alright, let's switch this thing on and see if we've got everything we need. So we're making fusion test data. Fusion test data goes here. Very good. We can probably bump up the train limit. 
so that both of these resources can be scheduled to come in at the same time. And that is a quarter of our tier four energy signs, theoretically. Probably the star probe will be a bit more work. Uh, we've also got boson data and magnetic monopole data, which also both use particle colliders. Um, they also have a five second crafting time. But these two have one solid, two fluids in, and thermofluid and junk data out. I don't think we can pull that off with the spacing that we just used. Nor will we need to. Let's send our construction spiders back. And I'll bring the scaffolding spiders. We must not harm the holy space trees. If needed, I'll use picker dollies to move them along. Uh, that is not what we're looking for. LT, uh, two-way rainwall space block. And then let's remove the old power poles from that. So when I do the build for either one of these, it's almost the same percentage as well. I'm just going to do a copy paste after I do one of these builds and change the, uh, change the inputs. Meanwhile, uh, how is the outposter doing? There's still a bot in motion. Oh, it's our one logistic bot. Diligently <laughs> bringing our, um, uh, bringing our construction bots over one by one. How about... Wait, where are you going to park? Bringing the boys back home, indeed. Uh, I need to... I need to make room in here. Whitelist logistic bots. Yeah, no, I don't want to remove all of the logistic bots. I wish I'd realized there were bots in here. That would have made it easier. No bot left behind, indeed. Once we have a stack available for logistic bots, this will go a lot faster. 26? Oh, it would help if I get rid of this. Fantastic. Oh, and make this 300. So that way we've always got uh, 15 logistic bots. And while we're at it, total logistic bots. Logistic bot less than 50, stack size 1. Oh, we already overdid it. Uh, that was surprisingly fast. Why does it seem like they aren't using the quick charger? Because they're not using the quick charger right now. Okay, that might work. Uh, we need a request to chest for logistic bots. Oh, this is the storage chest. Yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, bots, get rid of this, please.
For one terrible moment, I thought the uh, bots were stuck all of a sudden. Okay, autosave complete. Fantastic. Um, and why don't you place what you can over here before you leave? That looks pretty cool, I have to say. Is that our spiders getting back to their target? It is indeed. That was a pretty satisfying bot pattern, it really was. Alright. Is there anything we should be doing on Narvis? Probably. Um, Holmanite is still flowing, that is very good to see. Very, very good indeed. Space trees? Space trees. Um, I think I will park myself where the, uh, I was going to remove that request, but it's already full. Let's not worry about it. Park myself next to the outposter when it gets here. Actually, I should go back to the mall, make sure I'm resupplied. Okay, back to Calidus. I'm actually surprised how effective this... Why are they all recharging at the Roboport? Look at this. Come on now. I think that you'll probably... Either they used the supercharger when they went to the left, or they weren't in need of a recharge yet. And then they went to the right side, needed a recharge, and went for the nearest one. And this is the result. Why are you like this? Work with me here, indeed. <laughs> Really quickly, how big is your Nalvis? Mine is 5,600 sides, and it takes ages to clear the biters. Uh, mine is, yeah, 5,692. It'd nearly be quicker to research glaives as well to clear them out at this rate. <laughs> yeah. Although, uh, I've decided against using glaives on... Uh, on Penium, for example, because I don't see why the glaives wouldn't cross over this nuclear reactor sometimes, and that would be a problem. Mm, okay, maybe I just need uh, big ten spider teams and just send them in different directions. Uh, would a glaive strafe your own base? Yeah, I think it probably would. This would be pretty cool as a Mechanicum-themed game. Build ten teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lot, no matter how you go about it. What happened? What? Oh, no. Um. What happened? Oh, you're joking. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. Any MDC chest. There's, I think, I, I think somewhere there is a transmitter that is sending on that channel. Any MDC chest. These are all switched off for now. Uh, 
Um, well, I'm going to disconnect this for the moment. I'll add a reminder. And I've... Hmm. Where would I have copy-pasted it to, if anywhere? Via Terra, I'm sure we updated it. Via Terra DC chest. So how... I don't... Hmm. That's actually the only one that I can think of that I likely would have copy-pasted what we have here. Uh, and the only way I could imagine blundering so that we double up on transmitting this. Is it possible we just had too many cannons? Th that's a lot of explosives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stacks? How did we get seven stacks of iridium ingot? Everything except for explosives, it should it should not try to send any more the moment that we've got one stack, uh, at the moment that we've got any of it. Um, each less than or equal to one output each. Wait, did I do this wrong? Uh-oh. Uh, let me, let me just check on Viatero real quick. Each less than or equal to one output one each. As long as it's a positive number, it has the same effect. We're currently outputting one. We're only asking for ingots at the moment. So that looks like it's working. Now we're asking for explosives. And as soon as the explosives arrive, that number will go positive. Or zero. Yeah, this is working. Um... Each less than or equal to one output each. And then we have one for the things that we want. So if the chest is empty, the value is one. And therefore we send a request for it. And negative 200 because we want explosives to come in quickly. Um, any um. Each less than or equal to one, output each one. These are all just input signals, we're not asking for anything at the moment. So how on earth did we get... 16 stacks of explosives? Don't tell me it's because... Did we have no explosives, and then a train arrived? And then... Via Terra, Via Terra. Canium, 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 Canium. We can only put a hundred explosives in here at a time. So that's two stacks. Two, four, six, eight. We didn't accidentally set any of these other ones to Canium? No? When we receive a signal, explosives greater than zero, we pick up one delivery cannon capsule. Except in reality, we're going to pick up more than that. Um, because we have to wait till this thing charges up. I think it's going to put in like three each. That would be 12. I don't know how we got 16 stacks sent over there. Whatever the case, um, it 
may literally just be that we made too many cannons for this. We've got four over here as well. Via Terra isn't having problems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we've got explosives everywhere. Uh, I think we were actually watching a minute ago when... Yeah, as soon as explosives gets to negative... Um, it's going to send the explosives. It's currently trying to send... ingots. Okay, now we're sending explosives. And we've got... One, two... Three... Uh, three times four, twelve stacks. That are gonna get sent every time it gets down to zero. So how on earth did we end up with 16 stacks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is... I... I don't get it. I don't know how we got this many iridium ingots either. We're doing the same thing, right? It's even the exact same circuitry. I really don't understand how this happened. Is it because we got more stacks of other things? One, two, three, four, five stacks of ingot, three copper, one, two, three, four iron, one, two steel, and one stone brick. Via Terra, we're looking at... I guess if it's further away, so that the cannons take longer to charge. So it could... There could be enough of a difference in lag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That seems about the same to me. And two of each kind of uranium. One, two, three, one, two. There's a bit of variance, but... I think if we're going to have multiple cannons sending a resource, we should just set the... We should just set them to fire when it's empty of that resource. As opposed to, we've only got two... four stacks left. Um, but I don't understand how we've got the exact same setup over here. And we didn't have the same... We didn't even get close to having the same problem. Well, we're going to have to go over there. Um, let's get our outposter. And it looks like... It looks like it's finally done. I want to test something. These two solar panels... I can't actually place those yet. Okay, but we did place these sca uh, this scaffolding. It does seem like we can place everything that's in range of um, 
of the radar construction pylon. Actually, dare I hope that if I just put another one of these here, we can finish placing all of that if we've got the scaffolding? Uh, do we not? Radar construction pylon. I think I probably forgot to request those over here. Pylon, pylon, radar, construction pylon. Yeah. I could teleport the ship over there, and we should be able to get that built before we go. Uh, Horizon Effect, thank you very much for the eight months. Much appreciated. And that is a very interesting and adorable and weird emote. Alright, let's launch the outposter and anchor over here. Oops. We can almost reach all of that already. This is like our giant space construction spider. And away we go. So what is this going to be? Um... 48 by 80. That's a lot. 3840 times 12.1 megawatts. Uh, 46.4 gigawatts? That's about right. And I think we'll fix this one up at a later date. I need this thing back to Nervous Orbit. Oh, and I'll just... Oh, we already moved the ship, so I know that container stress is okay. But it'll go slightly faster if I get rid of these. Well, really I'd just be getting rid of getting rid of the one chest. How about this? Fantastic. Alright, back to Nervous Orbit. Away you go. And how's our glaive doing? Doing just fine, thank you very much. That is a lot of... Wow. That is a lot of carnage. Oh my goodness. Just dead biter spawners as far as the eye can see. But... They've really got their work cut out for them. There's your UPS drop? Yeah. How big is it? 7319. So it's significantly bigger than Nowus. I think we're going to have to really go ham with the energy glaives. If we're going to clear this thing this way. That's a hell of a planet, indeed. That might take a while. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we got our scaffolding spiders here. Let's get our construction spiders in place. Cool. 
quoted in Biders, pretty much. Okay. Um, what else was I doing? Every time I check on Holmium Powder, it's flowing now, so that's good. And for once, we've got Holmium Plate, etc. being built in this block. Very nice. Did I just see some trees in space over there? You did indeed. The holy space trees? Uh, I'm not going to pave over them. Uh, I think the first holy space trees we saw were up here near the uh, satellite at the start. But if absolutely necessary, I'll just... Will not fit. Interesting. Uh, so I can't actually use picker dollies to move these. Because they're not on land, they don't, they don't fit anywhere. I can't build scaffolding around them. I, I, I don't think, I don't think building scaffolding next to them is going to let me move them, is it? Lol, what? <laughs> yeah, I can, let me find a tree for you. Uh, here we go. Uh, if I so desire, with picker dollies, I can move the trees around. Particularly easy with the navigation satellites since I don't need to get close to them. Uh, but the space trees... the space trees are special. Even more than we already knew. Let's put our islands in. And... some stations. This goes here. And a pickup station or two down this way. Construction spiders are arriving. We are going to need some particle colliders. Probably a bit further away than this. Uh, from the drop-off station, that is. It's definitely some kind of bug, maybe with the suite of mods, but also really funny. Um, I don't know what mod... Has anyone else played Space Exploration and seen these trees? Because it's only, like, quality of life mods um, that I had at the point where we got these trees showing up. Alright, which recipe should we go for first? Let's go for boson data, and we'll copy-paste that to make magnetic. Let me just check. One blank data card, one electromagnetic field data card. Percentages are a little bit different, uh, but either way it'll be the same amount of stuff coming out. Recipe speed is the same, particle collider is the same. Two fluids in, one fluid out. Very, very good. Okay. Um, boson data. Oh, yeah. Already we're running into problems. With this layout, that is. Uh, so... We're not going to be able to have the machines this close together. I think we're just going to go for like 16 of these. Or maybe 32 in the entire block. Why don't I just... 
get rid of everything except the actual machines, for starters. Trying to bring too much baggage in. We'll keep those pipes at the very least. We just double check I had the outposts are coming back, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, thank you for the follow, Norwegian Butcher. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay. So we need... That's not going to work. I think we're going to go for... It's not going to reach anymore, is it? How far apart is this going to have to be? Also, I really need to do something about these inventory issues with the spiders. Um, probably got some split stacks though, like that. It's a little bit frustrating. Okay. So we need, well, why don't I just get rid of the beacon for now? And I'll figure out how small I can make these pipe connections. We need a repeating pattern. I think I've probably figured out this pattern before, but maybe I can improve upon it. We'll see. No Spidey? But I like Spidey. Uh, and this one... is going to have to be rotated thusly, which means these are going to be opposites. Ah, uh, that doesn't help anything. Is there any new space monsters? Uh, not as far as I know. I hope not. Hmm. One of these builds over this way somewhere, I think we've dealt with the same problem before. Where is it? That's not it. There's so many of them. Really, really so many of them. Uh, I don't even, why do we have two trains here? Oh, well, uh, good news is we seem to have plenty of astrometric data. Bad news is I forgot to, uh, set those wires. Let's send those back to the depot and the data will get recycled. How do you move already placed buildings? There is a mod called Picker Dollies. Um, it won't allow you to move some really big stuff like uh, cargo rocket silos, for example. But you can move the ghosts around, at least. Uh, but yeah, Picker Dollies is the mod. Is this it? Oh, I think we found it. Okay, this is pr probably... Oh, this is perfect. We've already got this build, um, I think. This is going to save a lot of time. Uh, let's remove this, paste that in, make sure we do not 
summon any trains just yet. Oh, we don't have a fluid input in here. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Fulger, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This was actually energy science as well. Okay, boson data. Why do we not have enough particle colliders? Pretty sure we did a second ago. Are they in the legit? Really? I'm just dropping them on the ground. There we go. Okay. Just changing this to boson data. And let's check. This. This is going to be a uh, particle stream. This is going to be negative 275 degree thermo fluid. That's looking good. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already got this. Okay, what about the rate? Um, we're looking at 179 thermo fluid per second, 268 particle stream, no worries. Uh, only 18 blank data cards per second, and 18 out. That's child's play. We could buff up the speed modules at some point if we want to. Okay, so blank, blank data cards are not going to change. Um, negative 275 degree thermo fluid is not going to change. So this station is actually already... Uh, ready to go. This doesn't actually connect here. Okay, cool. Which means we can switch that on. Uh, we need to change this from... Uh, ion stream to particle stream. And we don't actually need a request stack threshold. Oh, I see what I did there. We could theoretically double it one day. Um, I'll leave this as it is. Change that to uh, the stream, particle stream. Fantastic. And we don't even need to change this filter because it's filtering out uh, junk data cards. We're going to change the name of this station to Boson. And we're going to build this stuff down here. And this is already set up. Good to go. Fishy? Fishy. I like that one. Alright. Uh, let's make sure we finish this roundabout. And finally... Uh, we can... Paste another copy of that up there. Placing a lot of signals right now, that's why it lurched a little bit. It's the wrong remote. This one is no good. Spiders are friends. <laughs> Indeed. Um... I just need to make sure I... Oops. Just to mean, uh, just need to make sure I change these combinators for the drop-offs as quickly as possible so that we don't get a train coming giving us the wrong stuff. This one is probably valid. So, whoop, oh, no, quick, 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 quick. Switch that off, switch that off. Okay, cool. 
Uh, as soon as we've placed the colliders again, assuming we have enough. Uh, which recipe is this going to be? I believe it's uh, magnetic monopole data. Cool. Uh, how many machines are we looking at? Uh, 16, I almost said 32. And once again we need... Oh! We need electromagnetic field data, not blank data cards. Electromagnetic field data. And proton stream. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was proton stream. Okay. That one is good to go. Uh, do we also need negative 275 degree? Negative 273 degree, thermofluid. Indeed. And once again, we're filtering out junk data cards. Uh, so we're looking for magnetic mono. Fantastic. I think we're ready to switch this on. Electromagnetic. Switch this one on. And that should be those two builds complete already. Apparently there might be a shortage of blank data cards. Uh, I'm not shocked by this. Post on data. And... Magnetic monopole data. Nice. So that is... Theoretically, three quarters of Energy Science 4 is done. How did you change the data card station name? Uh, oh, did I change it? Uh, I did not. Train limit 2. I'll have to wait till they get here before I change the station name, otherwise things could get messy. Unless I want to fiddle with the, um, fiddle with the schedule while they're in motion. Uh, good catch, Sander. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, how are blank data cards doing? They're in motion. Uh, partially. We're missing data storage substrates. That hasn't happened for a while. We've actually got lots of them here. Uh, are we not requesting? We're requesting two train loads, so it shouldn't have got to the point where this was empty. If we've still got lots of it over here. That's pretty weird. That's very weird, actually. Okay. Didn't we get the Tier 3 computers? I think we got them unlocked, but to build them is actually... We need 100 bioelectric data, 100 superconducting... I don't know what advanced neuro... Neural gel is yet. Haven't made any of that. Uh, significant biomass, bioelectric data, neural gel, and nutrient gel. Well, we've got all of those things in the rail network. It reliably makes junk data cards out of bioelectric. Huh. Yeah, as much as it would be nice to get the junk data card recycling up to 90%, um, I can't really be bothered with it just right now. 
Is this too fast for the belts? Uh, it would appear so. 72 per second. Uh, sorry, 72 plus 17. It's like 90 per second. And we've got... It's actually the... Uh, it's actually the broken data cards that are moving too slowly. I think. Yeah, it is. Hmm. This thing wasn't running for a while, so... It's, it's probably still playing catch-up, but I should do a new build for this at some point. Don't create junk, create useful stuff. We don't need more iPhones that work for a year or two and then it's junk. Wholeheartedly agree. Um, Alright, do we have more of these particle colliders? I think that was it, probably. Roughly. Oh, we've already got these running as well. Alright, let's send the spiders back to the mall. And do a little dance, get resupplied. Come back down this way. And we'll finish that build. You were working on junk card. Uh, could not help myself, fair enough. But it was junk card recycling, to be precise. Alright, so we should be getting our magnetic monopole data. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, the only thing that we've... Apart from, like, waiting on some resources and making sure that's all... The throughput is all fixed and everything. Um... I wonder what blueprint that was in. We've got these occasional big power poles. Anyway, theoretically we've got everything done for Energy Science 4 except for Star Probe. Uh, Star Probe is made in a space manufacturing and requires a whole lot of stuff. But it's, it's literally just bringing six solid objects together. I'm almost tempted to do that in the mall. 60 seconds. No, I shouldn't do it in the mall. Why don't we build it here? Um, it's not like we're going to use this little space for another name. And it should be fairly close to the resources that we need. Okay. I need the construction spiders to finish this build first, though. We can plan it out, at least. Uh, where's our ship? It's here. It's still getting resupplied. Yuck. Uh, after work, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got our space probe rocket silos. Uh, I really need to go, or want to go and fix up energy beaming in those other solar systems first, though. Seems like our resupply is complete. Uh, 
let's empty these first. That should be fine. Alright, let's head over to... I was going to say Deadwood, but we're actually looking for the star that Deadwood belongs to. Well, we will have to go to Deadwood as well. Capellus? And Capellus Orbit. Um, Capellus Orbit. Launch. Fantastic. Uh, ETA, we're not going to really know until we get up to speed, but I think we're looking at about 20-30 minutes game time. Um, what's this one? 12 minutes at current speed. And... Yeah, so call it 20 minutes game time. Uh, construction spiders are on their way back. Alright, I think I will have... Can we fit? Let's see. I'll have a request a station here, or here. How many different resources are we dropping off? We should probably use bots for this. Uh, Robo network isn't touching anything else, that's good. Oh, this might be the perfect opportunity to build this out with uh, radar construction pylons, actually. Let's put one of those here, and we should just be able to build this without the spiders. Okay, so I would like to have... Some kind of robocort. I think we could do this with a couple of short trains, to be honest. I mean, how how quickly are we going to want star probes? A thousand blank data cards is half of a cargo wagon. Ten flat solar panel is half a stack. Fifty is one stack. So, uh, so we're up to... 22, and then 10 stacks of solid fuel, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay, so all of that actually fits comfortably in a short train. Um, can we have a short train picking up blank data cards from the original... Hmm... I could request blank data cards to the mall, and then... We've actually got 8.6k here already. I was gonna say, is there some other reason that we bring those here? Or did we end up with them accidentally? Um... I don't see a request for blank data cards. But uh, that can definitely be arranged. And then the short train will have a short trip to bring blank data cards over here. Did we not? Oh, good. Okay, so what if we put... A pickup station here and a drop off uh, drop off here perhaps. Oh that's too close together. Standard pickup standard requester. 
and we just need a single space menu factory. And a robot port. Uh, that's gonna... Well, I guess we could do it this way. But, no, I'd rather not. Actually, is it possible... We could... Ooh, I like this idea. Please tell me it fits together properly. I don't think it's going to fit together properly. I would like to have direct insertion. But we'd, we'd have to use long arm inserters for this part. Hi Hex, Vyasha Slave, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I could make this both a drop off and a pickup station. So we're going to have, um, I'm pretty sure this thing's going to be stack size 1, right? Yeah, stack size 1. Okay, so fast inserter, and we're going to only activate that if the train is coming to pick up uh, a satellite. Star probe, to be precise. We only need this chest so that we know if we have star probes. Um, but this one... Or these four? How fast is this? 60 seconds, but crafting speed starts at 10, so 6 seconds without any speed modules. Um, how many different resources do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a little bit unhelpful. Uh, but what about the rates for each of them? I definitely want a stack inserter or two for the blank data cards. And then for, let's say, rocket control unit and uh, flat solar panels, we could have... Uh, we could have just the one filter inserter. Solid rocket fuel and let's say heat shielding could be another one. And then these two can be blank data cards. Oh, and that leaves out um, solenoids. Which we could probably put here. Alright, so... Why don't we go the first two, number three and five. So heat shielding, rocket control unit. Control unit, and then solid rocket fuel and flat solar panel, tier 2, and then holmium solenoid, and then these two are going to be like data cards. Cargo pods act as 2x3 chests? That's a good point. Though I don't think that works vertically. Oh, that's weird. Why is it taking forever to get fast inserters over here? Because we don't have any fast inserters. Um, 
Don't tell me we don't have any inserters of any kind. We've got only filters, uh, filters, stack filters, and long-handed. Okay, uh, I think putting these prerequisites broke something. Did I not include iron sticks in here somewhere? I don't see iron sticks anywhere, which begs the question, um... Where on Earth, where on, where on Nervous Orbit, were we getting iron sticks from previously? I, I, I've almost fell for it again, that's aeroframe poles. Um, this was Holmium. Wait, no it's not. I don't remember if we were ever sending up iron sticks by rocket. Um, seems like the kind of thing I probably wouldn't have done. But then, productivity bonuses. I don't think it's really worth the trouble just for iron sticks though. So it's actually kind of a mystery right now, uh, where we used to get iron sticks from in this build. If there's no iron sticks, don't try to make rail. Yeah, you would think they would be here, but they're not. Do iron sticks just happen to come before the inserters? They do not. Hmm. I could add the rest of the chain of inserter prerequisites. We've only got three to go. I don't like needing so many, um, iron stick. We definitely had iron sticks here at some point. Do we have a request for them from the rail? That's aeroframe pole. So, no. Maybe I had those being built by a separate machine that I ended up getting rid of. Okay, so if fast inserter is less than 50, don't try to make this, don't try to make that, and don't try to make that. If there's no stack inserters. Oh, I didn't connect the wiring. Let's try again. We're trying to make arguably too many energy beam things. Why are both of these on energy beam emitter? Oh, it's probably because the chests are too full and we haven't Oh no. Um Can you okay, okay. All right, I see how it is. We're lacking processing units again. How are we lacking processing units? It's not the fuel, it is the actual processing units this time. Uh, we are making them. This one doesn't have green circuits. Except there are green circuits here. 
This one isn't working because there's no Holmium cable. And same thing over here. Maybe I should change these ones back to the regular recipe. Maybe I should have used crafting combinators to detect Holmium cable and set that recipe if we find it. Which cable do we have here? Not a whole lot. Holmium cable... Uh, we are making it. Last couple of times I've checked here, we've been going full speed. Is it maybe finally time that we could double this? This is all of our Holmium cable for now, if I recall correctly. For the whole base. Uh, 90 per second, or a little bit more if you count. Yeah, I think we switched these off, and now it's just this one. Uh, output to the rail block is limited to 90 per second, but we're also sending some of it away to make solenoids. And we seem to have accumulated a decent amount of Holmium ingot. This is at least a couple of train loads that have been sent here. And we're making more. Okay. So, I want to double this like so. Except, we're going to have to... Uh, I need to be careful about how I do this. Because I don't... Actually, neither of the constant combinators are going to get overwritten if I do this. It is going to swap the station names, but I can fix that easily. I even need to make fancy loaders so that both of these stations can act as offering both of these resources. Or I need to play with the belts, which I think is the better option here. You still need to flip it? I can't flip it. Um... But I, I think I see what you mean. That might be the better option. Train stop. Uh, if I... If I blueprint everything... Except... The stuff... Why is there a crafting combinator setting here? If I blueprint everything except the stuff that we can't flip... So no train stops, no signals... And I think... I think that's actually it. And then... Rail chain signal. Damn it. Which blueprint did I just make? I need to clean up these old things. I'll find it this way. That's not it. Why would I filter this? There we go. I think I've got that somewhere. That shouldn't be a problem. That's not quite what we're looking for. Here we go. Rail chain signal. Be gone. And then... We can flip it, except we want to get rid of those extra corners. I think that might be about all it takes. Did I get rid of this? 
yeah. So let's see, Holmium cable goes here. Yeah, I think that should get the job done. And we haven't overwritten the station names or anything either. Let's bring our con whoa. Oh, I forgot I had them here. Because we were trying to reorganize their inventory. We do still have some hovering bots. Uh, most of these spiders have plenty of room still. It might be a stack size thing. A split stack issue. Yep. I really wish I could get them to not do that. We've actually got at least four stacks available. Five stacks available. And that wasn't the spider that had problems. Or that had upset bots. Uh, I wish we could have specific delivery cannon capsules as something that's in the logistic requests, because the only way for me to clear that away is to go and physically do it myself. Okay, I can't find the spider that's got... that's got its bots hovering waiting for it here. I'm just going to... Take all of our yellow spiders, remove everything, trash unrequested, and here come the bots. Amazing. That's a lot of bot recharging. Okay, now... Instructor-tron? And then... Get them to visit the newer mall. This should hopefully get enough, be enough to resupply them. And then bring them down to... Our expanded build over here. Also, let's get rid of these old power poles. Uh, and we also need some stations for this part. Actually, so ingots are going to be on this side, right? No, it's this side. So this part gets copy-pasted without being flipped. And we'll need to connect those wires. I flipped, I meant rotated, which would be the same thing in this instance, effectively. Cool. It's going to be a minute before the spiders get there. I need to remember to check on them before we end up with a station that's overfilled. Uh, we still don't have our iron sticks. Still zero iron sticks. Uh, can we maybe calm down with the heat, uh, beam stuff for now? The only trouble is if there is not enough space in the overflow chest, it won't actually change recipe. So it's still going to keep the... Re it's not going to keep the request for that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Still waiting on blue circuits. Um, 
been quite the distraction from building this thing. But this is going to be blank data card. I guess these don't need to be filtered at all. And we can go ahead and set up our station. Uh, provide threshold's probably going to be very low. Okay, we need heat shielding. Uh, I want to set this to be enough for... Well, let's see. I could fit 4,000 blank data cards here easily. So what if we follow that pattern and request enough for four star probes? Um, so that's 400 heat shield. Rocket control unit stacks to 10. So this is two stacks, two stacks, 10 stacks. Uh, one stack. Yeah, we can easily fit enough for... Not that easily with the rocket fuel, but that's fine. We can fit enough for um, four satellites in these chests. So let's go with 400 heat shielding. Switch this off for now. And probably set that a bit lower. 400 heat shielding, uh, 40 rocket control units. Four hundred solid rocket fuel. Uh, fifty, two hundred solids. Uh, ten tier two flat sol. Oh, sorry, twenty tier two flat solar panels. Eighty RCU. Uh, yes, good point. Thank you. Uh, Luna Epicura, good catch. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and then four thousand blank data cards. Uh, blank data card. Four thousand. And request stack threshold is 20. Some of these are only going to be um, 8 stacks maximum. This is 1 stack. What is, what's flat solar panel going in with? Rocket control unit... Uh, sorry, solid rocket fuel is going to be uh, 40 stacks. So we can do 8 stacks of these. Um, let's go like 4 stacks. Uh, so this is four stacks, this is four stacks. I think we'll go press stack threshold. Like, I, I would love to have different thresholds for different resources. Um, but let's just go with three. And we'll go for satellite. Wait, that's the wrong kind of satellite. Uh, star probe. For the station name. 40 solar panels? Yes, indeed. Okay, apparently we have no stack inserters. That's cool and great. Oh my goodness, the green circuits have arrived. Uh, and... I don't know where we got iron stick from, but we... Got it. Not sure if we built those here or... Well, I didn't find a request for them over this way. 
So I think we must have just gotten around to building them, and we probably built a million of them in a flash, and then updated the recipe after 30 seconds. Four hundred and twelve burner inserters we've just built. So yeah. Uh that appears to be working. I could also send inserters up from the ground, but I'm not too worried about that to be honest. Okay. So let's switch this thing on and what couldn't see the red wire for a second there. Uh see what we get. Eighty rocket control units. Oh. Oh, this was supposed to be short trains only. Oh no. Um could you please not there we go. Uh train length is three. And most of this stuff is probably going to be picked up from the mall. Um, heat shield. Heat shield. Chromium cable is here. We can use short trains for that. Same goes for solenoids. And... What was the other thing? Heat shielding still getting from here. That should allow short trains. What's your criteria for switching to the next recipe? Uh, so as soon as we've got enough of something, we stop trying to make it, except I've got a timer in here that says we only try to change recipes every 30 seconds. Um, so we will overshoot our target, uh, usually. And that gives us a little bit of, uh, kind of like latch behavior, where we're not going to just be constantly switching recipe. Alright, there's our fast inserters. Beautiful. And then I'm sure we'll get our stack inserters in relatively good time. I kind of imagined the short train would be picking up a lot of stuff from the mall, so that all of these inserters would be working together. But considering this represents a thousand, um, a thousand data, I don't know how fast this will really have to be. Okay then. Where are we? 45 minutes? What? Where are we going? Capella's orbit. Our speed is 50. That is surprisingly slow. I guess I just got used to the new ship. Um, but at asteroid density 100, I would expect to be going a bit faster. Oh, maybe it's because we added some chests, so we're a bit heavier. Hmm. Yeah, we've added, like, quite a lot of chests, actually. I could remove a couple and we get there a little bit quicker. Yeah, our, our container stress is 774 as opposed to under 500. Hmm. Integrity check, 726. Um, remove these empty chests for now. I'll chuck a couple of space probe rocket silos 
in here. Wait, that's the wrong spot. Integrity check. Uh, hull stress is back below 500. Container stress 678. I'm hoping this means we can go a bit faster. That's the hope, anyway. Yeah, that is, uh... Suddenly... I didn't put liquid rocket fuel tanks on it, but... I'm starting to feel like I should have taken the hotbox ship. It's actually got a lot of storage, uh, and goes significantly faster. I don't know where we would cram on some liquid rocket fuel tanks. And it would probably take a ton of energy to take off. And I do need to go on onto the planet uh, to put the energy beam receiver. Is the circuits controlling your speed? Yes. Um, but it's based on the accumulator charge which is a pretty good representation of um, how fast we can go safely because the laser turrets are what eat up the accumulator charge. I think you need to limit speed. I you think you don't need to limit speed. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, but I could set the limit higher. The only other problem is I've been using that signal to control fuel. Um, so if I... This is less than 25. Okay. If I add a constant combinator, or if I just added something to this signal, speed, we can increase our target speed right here. So our target speed is now... 100. Which is obviously faster than we will actually be able to go in this ship. Actually, the maximum speed here is creeping up. I don't know why... It doesn't really tell us how fast we could be going. Could you build a ship on a ship? Like a shuttle? Uh... I don't think so. If you built walls within a ship and it was enclosed and then you had floor inside there, maybe. I don't know. There would have to be... Well, theoretically, there would have to be a gap somewhere for the engines. How would it know... How would it know where to stop taking the walls away? Can ships couple to each other? Uh, yes and no. You can't have them... You can't, like, dock them in space. The best you can do is go in person and then click here and go... Uh, click on board the name of the ship and it'll teleport you behind it. But there was that one time uh, we got a clip of it. I think on... Uh... Not one of these planets. Calamity. On Varus, when I was building this thing, um, as soon as I landed a ship here, two more ships landed right next to it, and then all three of them took off, and all of this happened in the space of a few seconds, um, because the clamp IDs were the same, and they were looking to land next to those clamps. 
Okay, how are we doing? Um, I probably should pay more attention to this because I don't think I've brought spare spaceship parts. So if any of these walls break, uh, we're kind of screwed. But that said, we seem to be managing. Our max speed is apparently about 72. Target speed is dropping. Okay. Alright, so the... Ooh. Uh, accumulator charge is getting a bit low for comfort. It does seem to reach just a different equilibrium. If I have a... Uh, a constant speed signal being fed into that. We did get our fuel put back in. Alright, so now we're slowing down. Uh, I need to set it so that... Accumulator charge doesn't get too low. I could simply connect one more accumulator. Yeah, that, that's a better idea. Okay, this is going to double our target speed at any one time, but we should still reach an equilibrium whereby... Okay, target speed currently is 42, and we're at 20%. Accumulator charge. I think we're going to equalize to about the same speed anyway. Whether I have one... As long as the maximum speed is below 100. We should end up at about the same speed. Wherever, it, wherever we stop. We, we slow down, we stop taking energy from the accumulators so fast because the lasers aren't working as hard. And I think we're going to end up at the same equilibrium for speed. Uh, only use vanilla laser. Uh, so do I. I just checked my early game ship. 900 hull stress. Six, six ion engine, ten lasers, at top speed, max, at max speed, never crash. Energy is the problem, indeed. Yeah, um, we could definitely, on a nuclear reactor or two, we could definitely have more heat exchangers, but we didn't have the whole integrity to build that big at the time. Um, but yeah, in hindsight, I would definitely, maybe next time, I'll, I'll redesign this before we go on another big trip, if we want to have all of this, uh, carrying capacity. Or I could try to squeeze rocket booster tanks onto the new ship. Oh, it's at 10,000 degrees. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Why two reactors? One should be enough. Uh, symmetry, mostly, <laughs> to be honest. It's also a lot of heat capacity. So it's, uh... If we run out of nuclear fuel, we'll get further. Well, we'll get there. It's fine. Meanwhile, let's do some more... We can't actually do any more energy science. Um...
let's double check the rate calculation here. What is that? Oh, it's just a gap. Uh, 17.92 per second. Yep, that's no problem. And the output for this one is actually quite slow, because... Uh, because the percentages are so bad. Let's speed it up. What are we looking at here? Uh, uh, 19 plus 8, 28 electromagnetic field data per second. That's pretty manageable. Okay, back to the mall with you. Uh, this one is also working. Fantastic. Did we get our... Uh, everything except for blank data cards. Oh, and also flat solar panels? Is this flat solar panels? That's blank data cards. We should have... 2.4k flat solar panels here. So a short train can pick it up from there, definitely. Oh, train limit is 1. That's probably... A little bit of a problem if we want to see this thing working. We still don't have rocket control units either. I can't remember if we're still getting those from Nalvis or if I got rid of the cargo rockets and then didn't replace it yet. Rocket control units. Oh, here they are. Okay, we're fine. In fact, that's probably the delivery right now. Okay. How's our whole meme? Oh, I forgot. Let's connect this and connect this this, and it looks like we didn't get into any trouble just yet. Fantastic. So, Holmium plate build is working. We don't have plastic on this side yet for the Holmium cable. In fact, there's no plastic here whatsoever. That is really concerning. Um, I could do another new oil block. How much plastic do we get out of this? Uh, 74 per second, as opposed to the old blocks. 50 per second. Well, 45 at most. But are we bottlenecked on resources? I don't think so. Okay. Where are we going to build another oil block? It needs to be next to the ocean. I don't want trains having to deliver the water. If possible. Uh, especially if we're building if we're making everything oil product related. I could put it over here. I would rather have it... Oh, I even forgot we still have four of them over here. Jeez, how is... Th how is this not enough plastic? There's not enough coal here. enough coal here. We've got coal here. Coal core fragments. You're taking your sweet time taking off. Uh, everything is bottlenecking everything. 
there's so much interdependent uh, there's so many interdependent uh, supply chains in this base. We need liquid liquid rocket fuel to get all these other things. We need uh, obviously oil products and or vulcanite to get liquid rocket fuel. We need explosives to get all of the resources from within the solar system. Uh, we need coal to get explosives. We need liquid rocket fuel to get coal. And so on and so on. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we do have coal over here, but it's not very fast. Okay, maybe I underestimated the severity of bottlenecking these trains. Let's add some signals. I wonder if adding a few of these here, provided the trains are going to be able to go all the way through, will a train be able to depart early from the other end? Something I haven't actually tried before. Um, okay, so we need the spiders to place all of those signals. It's peaceful here because the enemies are extinct, indeed. Uh, I can actually sh show you that. Confirm hostile extinction. No hostile threat detected. Oh, it's still a one-way track, indeed. Uh, I thought we would be getting coal from the core fragments a bit faster overall. But it doesn't seem to have caught up just yet. We do have eight... Where are you? Deadwood. Okay, you're waiting to pick up... You're waiting your turn to pick up from here. Uh, what now? What is broken? We've got 17 logistic bots here for some reason? How do we only have 17 logistic bots? Uh, we should have some logistic bots in... One of these chests? Logistic bot. Zero in the chest. Do we have... I don't see them in storage. Okay. Um, we are... Re we do have our automated system to request logistic bots from the ships that come this way. What about Deadwood 8, for example? Are you carrying logistic bots? Why not? How did this happen? Okay, uh, let's see. There should be lots of logistic bots in storage here. There are zero. Robot. 46 logistic bots, actually. Oh, that would be what's already in one of these ships, perhaps? Also... Oh, you're kidding. We never finished building that. That's cool. Uh, we need more problems like that. Okay. Let's bring you guys back over here. Once you're done with that. Um, but yeah, there should be a supply of robots being delivered here. 
We're looking for 150. Um, and on the green wire... On the green wire we are reading... Available logistic bots, available construction bots. Is that all? Oh, this was for that short train. Okay. Bots, bots, repair packs, uranium fuel cells, and cliff explosives. I'm surprised we don't have a million repair packs here. Or uranium fuel cells. We've got 4.4k, we're asking for 4k, so that's working. So why don't we have robots? Um, we have a build here. You're joking. You have got to be kidding. How long has this been like this? Uh... So here we have a precise loading circuit for robots from this chest. I can't see what's going on here. Let's get some deconstruction spiders to pick those up. Uh... So we've got a set filters, set stack size, whitelist, signal S, two types of bot in this chest. Uh, this little set filters whitelist, each greater than 1.1k output each one, times negative 10k. Okay, so we're limiting, probably could have done that in fewer inserters perhaps, but... This is just to make sure we ha split this chest 50-50 for each type of bot. Um, and here we have... What's already in the train times negative one. Each greater than zero output each. Get rid of those signals. Uh, each times one output S. So the red wire goes directly to the inserter. The S goes to the inserter and we get 58. We get exactly the number of bots that we ask for. And this has worked since time immemorial. And all of a sudden it stopped working at some point. And we just saw it work. I well and truly do not understand. I just... Yeah, I just double-checked all of this. H times 1 output S, and we're only receiving the input from that green wire. That output goes to there, goes to there. That should work just fine. And it did just work. Cool, so our outposts have been running out of bots because this circuit that's been working forever um, just decided not to. So this thing's looking for 500 bots. And I think it's going to stop on exactly 500 bots. Two hundred and forty-one. I don't know why we're on an odd number right now. It should be a multiple of 12. What's the stack size currently? 12. 
How how are we on an odd number? It should it should be twelve until we're at less than twelve left to put on the train. We ended up getting exactly five hundred anyway. There's no reason Apart from what we saw a few minutes ago, there's no reason we shouldn't think this is working. Could it have changed stack size in the middle of a swing? Uh, it wouldn't matter. And also, no. It If you're picking up from a container, it picks it up instantly, like one frame, one tick. Um, and it's also not going to change the stack size until the moment... Uh, the moment the inserter puts the bots into the train, a couple of ticks later we're going to receive the new stack size. And that'll, that'll happen well before the inserter goes back to being ready to pick up. It really doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, so that's cool. Deadwood's throughput... Uh, our throughput for all of our core fragments has been annihilated because somehow we ended up with 17 logistic bots in this place. And I only see one of them trying to move core fragments at the moment. Quest from buffer chests. 50 logistic bots. So if this thing brought any logistic bots, they would be delivered to here, and then we would keep throwing them into the robo network until we have available logistic bots. Did one of your shuttles take off whilst logistic bots were serving it? That happens all the time. That's one of the reasons why we resupply them. Like, that, that's why we deliver a stack of logistic pods every time with these, um, space trucks. That is a little bit frustrating, to say the least. Hopefully we can get the bots delivered here before, uh, the coal... The current, um, space truck for coal takes off again. At the rate we're making liquid rocket fuel, it certainly seems like that's going to be the case. Um, I can't actually get the liquid rocket fuel in here unless it comes from this side with this design. Maybe I should change that? It's not going to help in the long run. We need way more liquid rocket fuel. Uh, okay, so... Just how many... Oil production areas am I going to need? And how are we not saturated on crude oil? We have... Uh, wait, don't tell me oil core fragments stopped. Did we make a new block for that? Uh-oh. Wait, is this it? That's core fragment coal. Oil core fragments do not appear to be in motion. This thing is switched on. I think we're still using the... the old delivery cannon receivers for that. Yeah, they are in motion. Maybe a lot of our oil core fragment planets are not working right now. Let 
uh, Mars is still in motion. Although we're only getting maybe 16 per second from that. Uh, Tolibai is uranium, Alessandro is crude oil, and it's much bigger than Mars. And it's not working. Cool. Uh, we don't have any LDS. I think it's time to run that same patch on Alessandro that we've done in some other places. Iridium plate. Uh, why don't we borrow from Alto for this? Alessandro. Iridium plate. Quest chest. And I think we already got Alessandro patched into this block. Penium disconnected. Oh yeah, I still need to go to Penium to fix. I should have done that before I left Nalvis. Uh, before I left Calidus. Um, we are still getting... We are still getting Vitamelange from Rose, and we've been saturated with Vitamelange for a while, so it's not as high a priority. Uh, but I do need to fix that. Okay, Alessandro. We... You're kidding. Uh, I kind of forgot to send low-density structures. To Alessandro and heat shielding and stone brick and ev everything actually huh I must have got distracted by something hey Nyron Wolf good to see you again oh, well and welcome hope you're doing well well the silver lining from that is we can we can easily patch all this without like having the wrong resources in the chests um so that's cool i guess iron steel and sulfuric acid i'm well good fantastic all right, so Alice, Alessandro. This is Iridium ingot. That's going to go there. Uh, ingot. Give forty. Don't need heat shield LDS. We need ingot. And I think that stays the same. Still having a lot of delivery cannons. Yeah, um, I was switching everything over to spaceships, but it turns out the cost of liquid rocket fuel taking off of planets adds up really quickly. Um, so for the interplanetary stuff, I am going to stick to... Uh, delivery cannons, although I do still have Rose, uh, the Vault Vitamelange core fragments being picked up by spaceships, uh, which I'm surprised to see this is actually, the spaceships aren't keeping up. It, oh no, it's probably because they don't have enough fuel to take off still. Better than cargo rockets? We're looking to shift to rockets. Um, it's it's worse than cargo rockets in terms of liquid rocket fuel. Um, for some reason, it takes... Okay, so a cargo rocket going to Nalvis orbit costs 50.33k liquid rocket fuel. 
for discounting all the other stuff, like the uh, cargo rocket sections and the fact that it crashes all the time and everything. Uh, that's 500 stacks. These little shuttles give us 16 times 48 stacks, which is about one and a half times uh, what it takes, uh, what fits in a cargo rocket. But it actually takes almost 200,000 liquid rocket fuel for this to take off. Which I didn't think would be that much of a deal because I didn't have any trouble with liquid rocket fuel for a long time. Uh, but we did hit our limit eventually. Rockets better than cannons? Uh, well, rockets are a much bigger headache than cannons. Like, much, much bigger. They might turn out to be... I mean, I would be shocked if they didn't turn out to be a bit more efficient in the long run in terms of other resources that you have to spend. Uh, but not dealing with them crashing all the time and recycling the cargo rocket sections and so on. Uh, I'm much happier using cannons for interplanetary stuff. Mm, okay, I guess we'll see. Don't know if I'll work it out to great detail. Fair enough. Uh, okay, where were we? What was I trying to fix? Oh yeah, Alessandro. Um... So, ingots go here, explosives go here, copper plate we do still need, and that goes here, uh, stone brick, because this is the old build, goes in a different chest, iron plate, goes in here, so we can make batteries, uh, steel, we need for our media defense cannons. Oh, there's no ammo here, that's terrifying. Oh no, it's been hit by meteors. Um, minimal damage so far, it seems. But, yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Um, that steel, sulfuric acid goes here so we can make batteries. And this is set to Alessandro DC chest. Iridium ingot greater than zero. Explosives greater than zero. Do we already have explosives here? We do. That seems to be working. Uh, copper plate. Stone brick, iron plate, steel, and sulfuric acid barrel, which we have run out of, which is probably why we're not making media defense ammo at the moment. We're way off from starships, fair enough. The ship launching sound makes it sound like... Uh, makes it sound like there's good work going on, though, <laughs> indeed. Personally, I've found core fragment logistics to be m way more of a headache than cargo rocket logistics. Um, I mean, with rail blocks, it's not that much of a hassle. You just have to split the outputs. Okay, uh, we need to request uh, Iridium Plate here. Do we have bots? Yeah, we've got bots. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That should be everything we need. Oh, I still forgot to set the ingot. Uh, the requests here. Brilliant. Explosives. Two stacks. Maybe I shouldn't set this to two stacks. 
maybe if I hadn't set each of these to two stacks, we wouldn't have got um, somehow too many cannon shells sent to Kenium. But if we've only got one um, cannon for each resource, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'll still maybe consider, partly because it's easier, uh, just setting this to one stack for each. Steel. And iron plate. And sulfuric acid barrel. Fantastic. Alright, so are we making... I haven't updated the recipe yet. Are we making delivery cutting capsules? Yes, we are. Beautiful. So, all of that time that we spent clearing out Alessandro, not completely going to waste now? couple more batteries and we'll get some media defense ammo again. Fantastic. Alright, uh, how many other oil... We've got Soma that we haven't touched yet for oil core fragments. Uh, that might be worth doing. It also gives us more, like, every single core mined planet that we touch gives us more vanilla core fragments, which gives us more of the basic resources without mines. Uh, what happened here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did you come here with one Vulcanite? And how is it that I can literally test these things for a dozen in-game hours with the game speed set high on an editor save, and this doesn't happen, but then it does happen in our game here. Do not understand. Uh, we need to make sure all of these inserters are empty. Kind of hard to see. Okay. I'll send the deconstruction spiders to clean that up. Back to the mall. This one as well, please. I think the train must have come here with that one Vulcanite before it arrived, somehow. Because testing this thing in isolation, it never failed. But we had, for example, that issue where... Was it 17 or 27 red circuits would end up in a single cargo wagon? of a bunch of trains going to different destinations. I don't know where or how we could possibly get literally just one Vulcanite uh, stuck in a train somewhere, but I think that is probably what must have happened. Hey, Hank? 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you controlling what the loaders pick up and into the train? Is what it loads variable? Yeah. So we've got a sushi belt here, which allows... Uh, uh, I think five different resources. It's everything except for uranium. One, two, three, four, five. The limit is five just because the inserters can only have five filters on them. Uh, to evenly balance what goes into the chests on a per resource basis, uh, we have a balance loader that says, read all of the chests Divide each by negative 48, output each. So for each different resource, that gives us a negative of the average. That goes on this green wire right here. And the inserters uh, receive the negative average from the green wire and the positive amount of what's actually in the chest um, from the red wire. If it is above average, it's going to receive a positive number in total and we're setting filters blacklist. So right now this chest has a greater than average amount of coal, therefore it's not going to pick up any coal. So once we've established that we've got almost exactly equal amounts of all of these different resources in these chests, uh, when the train arrives, we read from the train, multiply that by negative one, we have the amount that the train is asking for minus uh, these other signals which are not helping. And then we add those two together on this wire right here. So this is just each greater than zero output each input count and then minus a million for the signals we don't want. And it's also connected to the logistic train stop output. Uh, that's going to be 8000 every time because the provide stack threshold is one, uh, is greater than 160 actually, but what really matters is the request threshold um, at all of the stations that request this stuff is uh, 160, which is a full train. So the train won't come here if it's not looking for a full train load. We're going to get a signal of 8,000 of something here, uh, minus what's in the train, puts us on this uh, wire here, and then we say each divided by 48 output each, and we also get that value as S for stack size. That goes to every one of these inserters, and we are setting filters whitelist, so we get the signal type from here for what the train is looking for. Uh, setting filters and set stack size as S. Uh, once we get to a low enough number that each divided by 48 is going to give us zero, because it doesn't give us a decimal, uh, we're going to just, instead of messing around with the remainders, we're just going to say each less than 48 output each. And that's going to go to, it doesn't actually matter if we do one or input count here, uh, that's going to go to just one of the inserters for each cargo wagon, or it two actually because we're doing it from both sides this time um and because we're not sending an s signal the stack size is going to be one so when we when we have just a few more uh when we have just a few more things to insert left over um we just have an inserter with stack size one doing the rest Wow, I didn't realize you could control the allowed lists that way. Uh, so I don't understand advanced... I so don't understand advanced automations. Uh, you get there one step at a time. And little things like suddenly realizing that... Oh, this um, negative average version that I've been using for balanced loaders where I've been, like, on a fast inserter, I'll say everything less than or equal to zero is the enabled condition. Uh, it turns out when you're setting requests or setting filters, zero or negative doesn't show up. 
Uh, so very conveniently, we can just set filters blacklist uh, with a with a design that I'd already been using um, in order to balance load all these things. What is happening here? Oh, you're trying to leave already. Okay, cool. Don't you need LTN for trains to request items slash send signals? Uh, basically, yes. I don't know how I would be... I, I don't know how the condition would be met that I'd have trains coming for multiple different resources from the same station if I wasn't using LTN. Um, but that said, if that condition was met and I was using uh, vanilla train stations and I could somehow tell what the train was supposed to be picking up, uh, I could absolutely do this with vanilla. But I don't think we'd get that far. Uh, Shmoothil, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, it's Shmoothie J, isn't it? Welcome, welcome. All right, so that seems to be working. I mean, I'm not surprised. I've done this a lot of times. The only problem is when a train somehow, despite everything we've got in place, uh, arrives here with one Vulcanite in one of its cargo wagons when it's supposed to be empty. It's also a mod I'm not familiar with, but wow. Uh, LTN lets you put in some settings to these stations, uh, and it will automatically schedule trains to make deliveries. So, for a pickup station, you just tell LTN what's available to be picked up. For example, just read contents from these chests and feed it to the logistic train stop input. Um, and then for drop-off stations, you give it a negative. So that if you're reading from the chests and you've got exactly the, the amount you're looking for, it's going to be zero. Um, but while you're looking to get something delivered, you give it a negative. Uh, and LTN does the rest. There's a lot of caveats. Um, I strongly recommend, I have my own opinions about what default settings should be used, but whatever the case, uh, I strongly recommend looking over the uh, settings for LTN, because there's a lot of stuff in there that, in my opinion, is kind of a newbie trap. Like the default, uh, the default settings will have a train um, pick up or drop off items with a threshold of only 1,000. Uh, it'll also have trains, like, if a train takes more than something like 10 minutes to show up, it's just assumed missing forever. So it'll send another train, uh, which tends to overfill your stations. Excuse me. Uh, there was another one... I think it's called... it's a checkbox. It's called something like... Uh, fill trains? Finish loading. This is on by default. Uh, prevents trains from leaving while inserters are, or pumps are still working by adding two seconds of inactivity condition. So the train won't leave the station until the inserters stop swinging. So if you don't have some advanced circuitry to check what the train is asking for, the train might come here requesting just a thousand of something. The inserters are going to keep going until they can't go anymore. We're going to completely fill the train. And then a train is going to go somewhere that was only asking for a thousand of something. And it's going to get a whole train load. And depending on how aggressively you set the requests, uh, it's going to overfill the chests. Uh, so... Default settings, not what I would recommend, regardless of what you end up uh, settling with that you think is good. So positive is I have this, and negative is I need this. Yes, that's correct. If you have inserters per wagon, 
that do the last few items? Won't one of them get stuck if the train requests an odd number of items? Yes. Um, we could add more circuitry to deal with this, but I don't particularly want to. Um, but with all of my precise loaders, we're assuming that a train starts empty and is going to be full at the end. Um, in particular, if we're going to have four cargo wagons, the train needs to be looking for a multiple of four. Although I'm sure we need to be... A, uh, we probably need to be looking for a multiple of eight with these stations because we've got inserters on both sides. I have that option for inactivity enabled then. Makes a lot of sense. Now I know how to do a multi-pickup for an outpost in D. Uh, I use short trains with one cargo wagon whenever... We're picking up lots of different things. Uh, the first... We don't have any walls left on Narvis because all the biters are gone. But... Um, well, this went, through a, this went through a few iterations, this playthrough. But I could do it much more easily now. Um, but basically... If you're looking to pick up uh, 17 construction bots, 203 ammo, and 17 laser turrets... Uh, short trains are the way to go, because the reason that we need to, the reason that we need to keep all of these inserters perfectly in sync is because we can read the train contents, but we can't read the contents of individual cargo wagons. If there's only one cargo wagon, we know exactly what's in it. If there's four cargo wagons... Unless we make sure all of these stay perfectly in sync, uh, we can lose track. Okay, uh, I've actually gone over time again. Uh, having a bit too much fun, perhaps. I do have a lot of... Um, a lot of stuff to do. Some of it that's quite repetitive. I need to pick, I need to patch several of the outposts, especially in system. Um, like I did over here. We've done a few of those today, but I needed to patch it to use Iridium Plate, which we've got lots of now, so we're not using LDS anymore. Um, I need to go to our interstellar outposts and get some. Uh, energy beaming going for power. I need to fix uh, Kenium, which is busted because somehow we ended up sending too many delivery cannons uh, capsules. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how that happened anyway. Uh, I probably should give up on beaming Quillian. <laughs> At least until we have... We haven't even found the edge of it yet with the scanner. Um, I should probably just delete this surface. We've got one, two, three, four... Energy glaives. Uh, slowly carving away. But yeah. Uh, what else? I should clear Soma, actually. And I'm, we could get some more crude oil core fragments. Uh, I've got a lot to do to make the throughput of liquid rocket fuel sufficient. Um, I want to get rid of a bunch of these old builds that use basic beacons. And we can use fewer machines and have better UPS. Uh, there's also... There's still a ton of these old um, Omni Smelter builds that I still need to dismantle. There's actually so, so much to do that's like podcast activities um, that I guess I've been a bit neglectful of, or just forgot that I had to do. You'll never remove the smell of barbecue out of that planet. <laughs> the BB King, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Luxel, good to see you again. 
That's a lot of hives, indeed. One could argue too many. I was going to say you're up late today when I came in, but I didn't want to trigger a steam end. Yeah, I think more than an extra hour and I'm going to be having problems. I did actually start late today, so that's, um, that's an issue. All right, so let's find someone to raid, shall we? Thanks for the great stream. Have a nice day. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we've got... Who should we raid? Uh, how about someone new, perhaps? Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Great streamer, dude. Thanks for hanging out, Daniel. Thank you. Minesweeper? Redmew Minesweeper. <laughs> I'm curious. Let's drop in on all gamers. Why not? Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, for now, I'm going to continue drifting towards Calidus, uh, rather. Calidus Orbit to set up our first interstellar uh, energy beaming. So we can stop stealing uranium from the ships when they visit. Alright. Take care, guys. I walked across the corner there. See? Hey, T Hacks, how you doing, mate? Thanks Oops, for the uh, raid. My apologies. Hey, 50% 50, 50 chance of dying here. Yeah, yeah. Come in, just everyone? go somewhere else and, and map it out. <laughs> no, I.